dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, we'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, a bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. in the sea and dead men in the sand old salt marsh sleeps while its enemies plan best batten down your hatches there's a storm near at hand oh, we should have stayed on land oh we'll roll the old dice and sing a song we'll roll the old dice and sing a song we'll roll the old dice and sing a song cause it's the end time and welcome back um Uh, yes, so last time on Missed Opportunities, Ghosts of the Salt Marsh, the party continued their long, arduous trek through the Winding Way, which is a maze-like shrine to Umberley far beneath the Abbey of the Isle upon which they currently uh, reside. Um, the frescoes or bas-reliefs on the walls continuously shift and give out negative energy uh, reducing armor classes thwarting their saves or making other nasty effects happen um, they were able to weather these shitty walls and, <laughs> and shitty walls um, not only Burley. recover an incredibly powerful artifact but slay a statue which was constructed of crystals and gems totaling to be an absolute fortune for them once they packed it up in a spare bag of holding after doing that they made their way back to just the basement of the abbey the oppressive forces of umberley's walls abated you are now simply in a dank cellar that um, oppressive force of negativity has been lifted uh from your minds and from your souls as you pass out of the winding way and now you simply sit in the cellar with pouches full of loot stolen from the chaotic evil goddess of the sea herself so, party, what's next? Well, we've rested, yes? Uh, yes. I believe short you rest. were short resting? Yeah, that sounds about right. Although, I'm yeah. not sure I actually rolled any hit dice, but that's hilarious. No, um, uh, I totally would have a uh, song of rested this. So for anyone who did roll slash wants to roll dice, please roll an extra d6. Good. Short rest. Okay. Uh... Oh, thank you. Hmm. It's 18 plus d6. There's no reason to stay, right? I suppose. I don't think so. There might be people oh, yes. waiting for us outside. They, we let them go, but we don't have any way yeah. to keep them from attacking when we walk out. Um, yeah, be we were, too, of course. before we took our rest, we talked about going and, and making sure the coast was clear and then coming back for the ballistas. I'll right. take care of that. Um, and, uh, Nether goes to the door the steps the door coming down um and uh she's going to make a perception check at the door okay if she may you may and it goes up and there is sort of a um it goes up about 15 feet and then there's a hatch and that is what you see and hear or <laughs> that is all i think they're long gone she'll still nevertheless I'll open the door just a tiny little bit, just large enough so that Doll can fly out invisibly and look around. 
Mm hmm. And she'll close the door again. And so Doll will fly up and look around the uh, area at the very top where the uh, hatch was, and then okay. sort of make some rings as he or she haven't decided today what will be. There will be a, a she today. She flies around, um, goes to the outside, looks to see if she can see anybody lying in wait um, in general, um, and specifically if anyone has uh, set a trap. So it is easy for Dahl to see immediately that there are uh, a number of humanoids up here um, seated around a small campfire. It seems like some of them have um, <clears throat> constructed a rudimentary spit and there are some uh, small game, maybe some squirrels and a rabbit roasting on there as they kind of sit around quietly. One of them turns towards the hatch, which is only about 10 feet from their fire, when it creaks open and then shut. It turns to regard it and then um, turns back and mutters something to one of the ones next to them. Two of them kind of stand up and keep watch near the, or keep an eye on the hatch, but none of them draw weapons. Um, they are just alerted to maybe some potential movement coming from below. All right, and Nether turns back the group, of course, her eyes, of course, glowing as she uh, sees through Doll's eyes. And says, There's nothing up there that we need to worry about in the immediate vicinity. We should be safe to just walk out. So do you want to grab any of the ballista before we walk out, or, or other way of, I don't know. Well, that'd be difficult to move, right? They're not on um, wheels or anything. And even they, if they, they are, are, we have to take them over the sand. They are on wheels, though. Um, my my floating books can carry them. I can cast it multiple need to put times. Them on top? Well, I'm I'm pretty strong, so I think Priyana and I could probably manage it. Aye, we could. But then let's do it now. That way, I, if it should be a problem later, we don't have to come back. Here, it will take a little bit of time. The difficulty will be... Um, I didn't think of this until you were going up, but the only passage leading out of here is a... Oh, it is 10 by 10. But the um, getting them through the doorways, in which you'll likely have to detach the bow portion from the body, um, which will require some tools. Um... I mean, as I recall, weaponizing the boat was an expensive prospect, and this is this is worthy, correct? This is worth our time. I think also there are there are a limited number of spots on the right. boat that can take weapons. So y yeah, we'll have to pay somebody to to attach them in some way, whether we, that's jury rigging or using attachments. Do we spots. have room for for two ballistas to be mounted? A few like that. Might we we also know that these also. are worth quite a bit of money if we want to take them and just sell them. That's that's another option. We have a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a certain point. Less money than they had before, and wouldn't mind making some more. We're fine now. Yeah. Uh, just for what it's worth. Well, uh, how about we take two for the ship, and one for spending cash. Um, you've taken it all, us off the map, DM, but I think there were four total. Uh, you've fully explored the winding way and one, two. There were four total, you're correct. Well, at that point, we might as well just take all four. I can keep four floating discs up to, to travel with... Can you really? You can have a floating disc train? <laughs> I mean, it, there's there's nothing to say that I can't. It's just the <laughs> casting time. Is it not they last an hour. It takes me ten minutes to cast each one, so I'd have to take a break every, you know, twenty minutes to recast. Are they not concentration then? <laughs> they're not no, concentration. They're not. Wow. No, that's good. <laughs> so what are we going to do in really the meantime slow train. <laughs> while we're waiting well, for Melvin um, to cast all these 
books. I'm going to be totally honest. I will be utterly useless in this process. Um, so no, we I'm know. Gonna... <laughs> Thanks. You can um, sing us a song. Yeah. No. Um, well, I'm a either going to just... A Come on. You can do that. Make, make uh, things go faster. Leave with a good, Paul. strong beat. Take the ballistas. Something like that. I'm not the bard, but... Come on, anyway. monkey. Dance. <laughs> Isn't this what you do? <laughs> I like doing it on what called upon. <laughs> what? No. That makes no sense. Said every artist ever. <laughs> I, um, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Only when I want to. We can pay you um, an experience. <laughs> Peter, grant me a level. <laughs> JK. <laughs> Um, no, so I'm either going to hang tight or I'm just, I don't know. I might walk upstairs and like converse with the people who probably don't want to kill us. I mean, you could ask them if they want to join our crew and then they could help us move the well, stuff. We don't want any followers of Umberly on our crew. But maybe they could we just already help invite us move one? the stuff. No. Well, that was kind of different, I thought. The other guy we invited, not the, the, the second person we met. Um, the guard dude, um, he just wanted passage off, I think. The first guy we met was a on pirate. shore was a pirate, and he, we offered him crew. Stop. A pirate right horror. <laughs> I'm, uh, we're all, I'm all right with pirates. Followers of Umberly, that's a, uh, well, I would think that would be a level of fanaticism that we don't necessarily need. Now, Wave so. wouldn't like them either, so... Wave is your trident, right? Yeah! And Sarayan pulls Wave off of her back. Wave? Debris? Debris? Wave? She makes Wave bow to you a little bit. <laughs> Do you hear this voice in, in your wow. head, Nether, that says... <laughs> The one from whom your powers spring seeks to be more, seeks to be who she was, and more than that. Would she, you, would you continue to serve her? <laughs> uh, I'm muted. <laughs> I'm <laughs> muted. So the funny thing is, is I said, can I answer you without speaking aloud? <laughs> yes. You can answer in your mind. That's a fascinating thing to say. I'm very curious to know all that you could tell me about this entity that gives me my powers. But I would have a question of my own first. Why would you care? Um, the trident answers you. It matters to those whom I serve. And they are? Many. You serve many masters. Yes. Doesn't that get a bit That confusing? is what I was created for, at least. Doesn't that get confusing? It does. Is there a goal that you have? Some purpose that all of these masters crafted you for? To do their bidding. Which is? To execute their will. Which is? Nothing more than that. I don't know. But your will is not yet mine. Maybe someday it will be if she attains the power she seeks. Though, you best be wary that it does not seek to supplant those who I do serve. Then, well, we may have cause to quarrel. It's the first time I've ever been threatened by a trident, congratulations.
I have a question. <laughs> so while this entire exchange is happening, does Sarayan feel... Because I'm just imagining, and I could be totally wrong, that like there is some sort of consequence to Wave becoming or coming into its sentience in like a physical manifestation, maybe like a thrum of electricity or like a warming. <laughs> Am I like, aware of something happening or Saran just like blissfully ignorant? You turn into a trident. <laughs> um, uh, it, um, you know, at this point, you actually just, you, you're kind of just holding it out and it, you're like, I thought it was, you're like, like expecting it to talk, but then realize that it doesn't ever talk out loud. And so it's kind of an awkward moment. And then, um, and that's about that. it. It actually Thank just is that, a cold, Sarayana. a cold a weapon interesting in your conversation hand. with your trident. Uh, oh, you know what else I thought just now? <laughs> what if Sarayan's like trying to put Wave back, but since like a conversation is happening, she can't. So she's just like sitting there, like struggling to put Wave back, <laughs> and eventually gives up. And um, oh, um, you were having a conversation with Wave. Curiosity: Has anyone else here had a conversation with Wave? I couldn't put Wave back. Um, I, I did earlier. Oh. Interesting. It seems that Wave is very keen on finding out more about us. I think it's very wise of us to find out more about it. It's a, it's very interesting. I, I would love to study it a little more. Would that um, be right, Sarayan? Uh, well, again, uh, Wave is a sentient being and has its own autonomy, so I'll have to uh, check in with Wave about that first, but I'll let you know. You are I'm not sure about me that... being a sentient being, Sarayan. However, it would be factually incorrect to refer to me as having autonomy. Oh, really? <laughs> Great. Then, yeah, absolutely. You can totally examine Wade. <laughs> oh, good. I, I guess that can wait until we get back on the ship, though. Yeah, no, we should wait. Careful. Yeah. This might more powerful who is protecting like me from cursed. being handed over to any who does not serve one, such as Persana. Or oh. Umberly. Well, what if... Well, or your what? friend. That would be fine, too. The Genasi. Oh. oh, but 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 Melvin couldn't look at. You. I would rather not. No. Melvin, what Wave says you can't. Then we should definitely let Melvin do it. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. Uh, we'll we'll talk about it later. <laughs> All of this talk of you know trident conversations and autonomy and examination. This is like capping out my weird meter for the day. So, can we just? Ballista and Scooch. But the floating, the floating ballistas didn't do it. <laughs> you have a weird meter. <laughs> There's like a certain amount of like weirdness and bullshit I can handle in any given day, you know. She just goes ballistic. I don't think, I don't think that <laughs> wave is bullshit. Ballista. No, that th Sorry. there was an and there. There were two Sorry, different nouns in that sentence. Begins with an to and. <laughs> when she turns away, junction <laughs> starts futzing with something else. May I? Can we uh, assume that we have managed to get all four of the ballistas? Can we fast forward? Books? However long it takes us to do this. Yeah. And we have to do it in real time. Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone, buckle up! <laughs> Kill me. Super engaging gameplay. <laughs> All right. Lifting the ballista. Yeah. Ballistas are spell. now transported up into the abbey, the uh, up into the uh, sort of charred ruins of the former abbey, as it were. And Moving you the ballista can, one foot. Uh, sorry, what? I'm sorry. I was being stupid and smart alecky. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> 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 so you carry it up, up to the island. Now the sea breeze starts to return as you come to this main level, um, dragging this train of ballistas up the stairs and up the hatch. You meet some very surprised um, 
glares from the remaining cultists and the rest of, but the, these, the surprise, this curiosity, curiosity quickly fades to just stony, excuse me, borderline accusatory looks as they watch you ascend into the um, little courtyard. We enjoyed your temple very much. Good day. It was, it was fine. But thanks. Have nice fun. walls. Have fun on the island. Do you presume to be the next then? They, one of them says, stepping forward, looking at you, Melvin. The, the next? <clears throat> Melvin, you've got the I amulet. I feel it. What you have. Melvin, we don't need that bullshit. <laughs> but, but it's gold. And pretty. It's also dangerous as fuck. Yeah, that's true. Uh, no. I, I don't presume much of anything. I, I, I test and observe. Generally. I make hypotheses sometimes, but that's about it. How about since so you're we're taking not their handing it over. How about since we are taking their ballista, we can give them their amulet back? Doesn't really have much of a use outside of this location anyway. Up to you, boy. Was that a threat? And then there is a sort of That sounded like a threat. Mariah, did was the did you think that was a threat? There was a threatening tone to that statement, but it definitely rides smile. the line. Yeah, a cruel smile spreads across the face of this cultist. Mm. Well, have fun with your creepy amulet. I'll drop it on the ground in front of him. And takes it. Or oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything left down there? There are things left. Yeah. Only what you take with you. <laughs> she will be hungry after this and angry. Well, he good luck with that. And puts the amulet um, around his neck. Same to you, sailors. Speaking and of hungry. Descends the stairs. I could eat. Uh as we're walking away, I'm going to start kind of humming to myself and then sing out very loudly so that they can hear me. Oh, the shitty walls of Umberly. The then... shitty walls of Umberly. <laughs> oh, I almost named the episode title that from last week. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you call it at the end? Shifty, the shifty, shifty walls, because yeah. it's Aww. technically true as well since they shift. But it was also in true. homage Everybody to all of shifts. you and your um. lo <laughs> and your love <laughs> of the walls. Um, oh, that's good. The shitty walls. <laughs> so I guess we'll make our way back down to the beach with our little train yep. of um, floating books yes. behind us. You Obviously make your way back to near the beach and then you see this expanse again of about a quarter mile that expands out that are complete sand dunes just um, covering. Um, there are dunes and uh, hills and mounds of the sand and the wind from the sea is blowing the sands back and forth. You can see what looks to be a skull almost right at your feet that is whoosh, uncovered by the sand blowing out of its eye sockets and then another gust blows across the land and whoosh, sand once again covers it. So there's that really the... specific path that we're supposed to take, right? right? I, I pull out my my notebook, which has a sketch of the uh, the path that we took originally, using my cartographer's tools. Uh, DM, is there an additional check that needs to be made to get us out of here, or are we sufficient uh, to? Well, I feel like we should check anyway, just in case. What's that? The bones? Do you re what? What's that? The field yeah. of bones thing? Skull yeah, field of bones. 
Yeah, I, I rolled an actual 20 on that last time. Right, but the path is invisible to you now, um, as it has been completely covered over by the changing dunes and changing sand. Okay. Now, Melvin, I do not remember what you rolled to... Um, did you make a roll to... Um, I don't think you made me make a roll. This? I just said that I was going to draw it as we go. Okay. Originally, so... Um, if you want me to make a retroactive roll, that's fine. And are you proficient in cartographer's I, tools? I am, in fact. Interesting. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see. I'm just I'm, I'm thinking of the calculating nature of creating a map versus the more wisdom-based instinctual survival. Um, it makes me think that is there, having traveled as what is there a way that obviously where I rolled a natural 20 before is there a way I can sort of try to recall and help him make the map I don't know if or maybe it tools, just but... afford maybe it could afford advantage on a second roll, yeah that's or... what I'm thinking yeah I, mean, well, I, yeah, I have yeah. survival and I'm proficient in survival and perception so sure that, um I can help him create the map well that's what I was getting at so uh, the original map making um, roll an intelligence based check with your um, cartographer's tools um, Jade your perception check would have been actually finding the path and then you would have been able to look and point and see your tracks which would have then soon been covered up later so that would have been originally once we get to this finding the starting point of the path and using the map you guys can collaborate and then make another check does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I've rolled an 18 on the Kraken die, plus 7 is 25. Excellent map, then. Um, it, uh, it has um, paces as reference. Um, it also, uh, there are jagged rocks that surround the Skull Dunes. It's one of the reasons that to get to this island, you have to traverse these dunes, is because this, there's a ring of horridly jagged rocks surrounding the island like a cruel crown so melvin even at some points mentions two intersecting rocks the one that looks like the three claws and then um one of them that is perfectly round sticking out on the other side and you mentioned things like once you were exactly at this point then you turn 90 degrees this direction it's a beautiful map and sort of instruction guide to get through this um in that case, uh, um, Jay, or whoever is leading, it's up to you guys, can make a uh, perception check with advantage. And uh, it's not just going like to be a... Be, sorry, survival or perception? Oh, it's going to be survival. It was survival last time because we were following tracks. This time uh, it was perception before. last time, wasn't it? I can't remember. I mean, it doesn't matter either it was way perception. for me. They're both the same stats. Um, so yes, make a perception check with advantage, and because of this map, the I will say, just let you know, the DC is also lowered, so it's not just um, like a help action. It's, uh, we'll roll a matches. couple of Krakens then. Yeah! Couple of Krakens. Well, Kraken dice! Hopefully they're double Krakens. <laughs> what's worse than double one? Double zero? Sorry, no, what's nearly worse than double one? Double two. One and two. I rolled a double two. Double no! Two. They're ducks. How did I do that? Double twos. So 22 plus six. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> uh, eight. Sorry, guys. Gonna be an interesting day. As yeah. you wow. continue through, there's one point where the, the sand starts blowing around and sort of getting in your eyes. And though you have this path... Um, you guys are sort of having to trudge through an actual dune of sandwich. Your feet sandwich. plunge down and down into it. What? You said dune sandwich. of sandwich? Oh, dune right. of sandwich. Sand come. <laughs> no one likes sand in a sandwich. A dune sandwich. Um, a dune yeah. a sandwich. Trudging through a dune of sandwich. <laughs> you do go slightly astray. Mm. And as that happens, you hear shifting around you. 
about halfway to the beach. If you all could place yourselves within that box. Do we have our new our new people? Grateful. Some know. of us or some of some people do, and I think it I, looks I excellent. Anyone. I've been busy. Peter, did you get huh? me? Um, yeah. Oh, what the fuck just happened to that camera? That was weird. Uh, I don't see it. Um, it should drag it yourself out. In an old, I also s- oh. sent mine. Never mind. I get it. I get it. It's fine. I'm, I'm a totally. But I may be a dweeb. And you sure did. Um, it's okay. Sarayan, I'm You're going doing to get that. Other things. <laughs> for those that are in chat while we're getting this sorted, we are doing a very special giveaway. Oh my god. A very special giveaway. It's on our Twitter. I've just posted the link. There is... You could possibly be one of the owners of one of two dice sets in the world. There's only two sets ever made, so you could be the winner of them. And the other set that we're giving away for... um, Not even even a runner-up, but a second win would be for a set of dice that have been out of stock for the last two years and been very heavily requested. So you can see them up on Twitter, on our Twitter now. So uh, please consider joining the giveaway. Thanks. Yay. And there might be something like a special code coming whenever. Uh, which way Maybe. are we traveling, DM? Towards the shore. Okay, so, uh, Jade, you're probably on the wrong side of the, the box, then, oh, if you were leading. I would be, too. Oh, then, yes, I will be at the top. Yeah. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, goodness gracious. Is that what I think Melvin, you've got Fireball now, right? Hasn't had a lot, well, it's not uh, game. D- Depends. Do, did I get my extra spell slot that I got from leveling up yet? Did we? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh, so that applied <laughs> during the short rest. Sure. Cool. Then yes. <laughs> no, I'm, it's not prepared. Kind and slot. generous man, that Peter. I mean, Fireball's still not prepared, but you know, <laughs> it's in my book at least. Mm-hmm. Awkward. All right. Where are the ballistas? Uh, let's just make sure I have my thing. Well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, yeah, though, we're yes. We're just gonna say they're kind of behind you. Um, Behind Melvin. You know. Are they usable? Yeah. We need four ballistas. <laughs> Are they loaded? <laughs> um, no, I believe you actually had to kind of undo them to yes, tr- of course. Yeah. travel. Yeah. Actually, a train of loaded ballistas sounds like a terrible idea. So. <laughs> You. So you, uh, these skeletons begin to claw their way out of the That's sand. They're dressed Lord. in rags. You can see portions of sailors' hats being eaten away by the crabs and the kelp and all of the things growing be- below. But now they are aware of what is going on, and it is their turn to eat. Um, there are uh, these ones this way are just masses of bones that are sort of just clinking against one another like a Tom Waits song on the Bone Machine album. It's clinking together and shambling forth. And the one in front of you coalesces different skeletons all starting to form together into this one looming behemoth of collected bones. Um, and uh, <laughs> surprise, we roll initiative. Immediately you see twos get us. go to one side and, uh, and um, Mother of Pearl. Uh, and, uh, sorry, uh, Talise and in Neris, there are dozens of more skeletons, maybe even a hundred rising up, both invoking prayers to their gods. They hold up their hands and keep at bay the rest of the swarm. Um, you five are left to contend with those that remain. I had to reload. My initiative's not on there yet. There we go. Let me make sure I can do my thing. Uh,
Oops. <clears throat> and go and hey friends I did not have time to pre-roll these uh, there we go what do you know they didn't go very fast oh thank god <laughs> that's lucky and nether as these undead creatures begin to rise from the sands, you are the first to act. Uh, Nether uh, brings her hands together and says, Tuatha, Tuatha tell Nuanda, Tuatha! And brings out a big, bulbous pile, uh, uh, sort of a, what's the word? Bloop, I suppose, of seawater. And when it dissipates, in the middle is Gadrazo. The beaver. Uh, oh, wow. look at you, Mr. He launches uh, himself at um, hey. at this bone mass right here. Um, she then bone uses mass. her um, then uses her uh, bonus action to have Doll shoot a little tiny arrow. That um, let's see. Swamp beaver, I choose you. <laughs> it's AC. Um, let's see, ten. Okay. Um, firing at the juggernaut. So I will. I will say. I believe, unless I'm mistaken. So it's a bonus action to require uh, to ask Doll to shoot. It's also a bonus action to command Gadrazel to attack. Correct. Uh, that's a good question. Let's see. I think you might be right about that. In uh, which case, you probably are going to leverage for the yeah uh, the the Gadrazel part. Shares your initiative, but it takes a turn. Obeys your verbal command. Don't issue any commands. Oh, maybe no not. action. O obeys your verbal commands. No action required by you. Beautiful. All right, I just right, made so, that up. Right. So ten points. So I hit AC ten with the um, with Doll's arrow. That misses. They are right. wear still wearing scraps of their former armor and everything. <laughs> just sort of sticks in the. Uh, it just uh, kind of joins be, the mass. <laughs> it would be really cool if they were. Um, if they weren't on immune poison, and then uh, Gadrazel attacks twice with. Um, a uh, short sword like object. Um, not quite. Uh, let's see. Hitting AC 25. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Does. Make sure I get this correct. Half the spell's level rounded down. So the fact that I'm still casting it at third level means it's just the one attack. So that's uh, oh, yeah. a total of seven points of piercing damage and um, one point of force damage. Okay. Um, it is this massive creature and it doesn't seem to the, the piercing there's just so many of them in there and their bones it doesn't seem to be fully effective so can you tell me that piercing damage again uh, sorry it was four plus three so seven round okay. down would be three and then the full amount of the okay the f one point of force damage gotcha <laughs> and that seems to do absolutely full damage so cool. hey that's a uh, melvin Never done uh uh, Pre Prion, I don't think you took us the right way. I don't think you followed my map correctly. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to... Prion. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to attempt a... Um, I'll, I'll reach out and uh, cast Mind Sliver on the big thing in front of us, I guess. Um, I need an Intelligence saving throw, DC 15. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost succeeded with my minus two, but I rolled a 14. <laughs> okay, um, he takes five points of psychic damage and subtracts a D4 from the next save. Oh, okay. And, uh, let's see, yeah, that'll, that'll be, um, 
that'll be it for my turn. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll move I, in. Uh, <clears throat> gotcha. Now you get to use my favorite feature of the creature. This mass of skeletons assembled into one that just kind of hulks forward. And I use the falling apart feature. Immediately loses 10 hit points. <laughs> it's, I, which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in this stat block. If it starts its turn with less than full hit points, it loses 10 hit points. I, just, I think wow. that's hilarious and fun. As it lumbers forward towards all of you, bones begin flying off. Some just left in the sand and a oh, twitching exactly. hand kind of sticking out of the uh, sand is there. You have, you have an attack of opportunity, Jade? Yes, I do. Oh, I hit with a 23. All righty, it hits. We have 12 slashing damage. Wow. A uh, piercing Big damage, hit. sorry, it's piercing damage. Um, this one is not a swarm. It is a actual creature. So your pierce does seem to do the full amount of damage you would expect. Um, and it stops in his tracks. Yeah, it does. Um, it will ah, look at you and, um, the, you think for a moment, ah, I've done it as bones begin to fall off of it but then the deluge falls forward and forward and forward and yeah. begins to encompass all of you as it uses its avalanche of bones feature um Sarayan and Prion please make a dexterity saving throw as the oh, deluge of Perfect. bones threatens to overwhelm you Sarayan is super dexterous so this couldn't go badly <laughs> Let's see. I got a beep boop bop. Eight. Ha! <laughs> okay, you both take 12 points of bludgeoning damage and are Ow. knocked prone. What? <laughs> Damn. Serayan, you. It oh, comes to your turn and you are now lying on your back in the sand, just covered with bones for a moment before they kind of rattle over the top of your body, dragging bits of sharp scraps of metal weapons and such, but they then leave your space and reform into this towering behemoth. Would a 13 done again. anything, DM? Uh, no. Right. So that would be my turn then me regaining no, 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 the ability. No, no, no. You, oh. you, you can use half the movement to stand up and then take your turn as normal. Perfect. That is what I will do. Um, so Rain will use half of her movement to stand up and then she's going to... Can I use the other... I can still move after that, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so then I'll move forward into the space of next to the icky bone guy. And... Um, Serene will use wave to attack. And I rolled a 21 to hit. It's 13 piercing damage. I will take my second attack. And 26 to hit. It's. And 11 um, piercing damage. And then Serene will... Let me make sure I can do this. As she looks back over her shoulder, um, she's going to look at Melvin and just say like, calm down and cast Shield of Faith, which grants him a plus two bonus to AC for the duration, up to 10 minutes. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mariah, you're up. Awesome. Um, looking for a tiny bit of clarification. So we've got individual skeletons moving towards us, correct? Yes. And these are what? Um, swarms. Skeletal hordes. We'll hordes. Hot yeah. shit. Okay. Um, interesting. 
Um... I will look towards the uh, the big behemoth in front of us and yell out towards it. Can't even keep your fucking body together. You suck. I don't know. <laughs> <Back of> shit. <laughs> Roll a wisdom saving remove... throw. Let's see. It has to remove four from this save. Let's see how I do. Um, I have my result of all of this. That is a four. Okay, so you're gonna take some. Macri damage. Wow, that's the shittiest roll ever. Uh, so that's three points of psychic damage, and you have disadvantage on your next attack roll. Good deal. And uh, I'm uh, to stay put. I don't know what the fuck to do. Swarm time. Ah. All right. Swarm. This swarm moves in to surround. Gadrizel and Nether. <clears throat> and will um, attack um, uh, Gadrizel as it is the one that attacked it. Nether, as it moves into your space, the clash of metal, the clanking, the clack of bones, and the chattering of their teeth and their skulls is too much for your ears. You are deafened while in the space of this um, creature. And it will try to slash Gadrazel with a six. That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna hit Gadrazel. Oh, okay. mighty Gadrazel resists with his beaver teeth. <laughs> ah! I'll move the other one to here. All of you within the space are deafened. Rude. And I have a target on the ground. I'll attack with advantage. I have a 19 to hit. Um, I am going to, as a reaction, I uh, use cutting words to uh, have uh, to roll and reduce that attack. All right, go ahead and roll. Chatty needs a one. I uh, I rolled a six. So a bunch of them you see just start piling onto Prion and a couple of them seem to be prying his armor apart. And one of them has just exposed a bit of the plate mail under his arm where it can't cover. And a couple, you see a couple teeth going down from it and you yell out at them and they go. <laughs> and then look up to you. No. And it, they get distracted for just long enough. <laughs> get the water spray out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it. Leave exactly. it. <laughs> exactly. You have nope, really, really nope, horrible nope. skin care. Um, it's true. I hate to be that guy, but does deafened affect the skeletons as well? To, uh, to hmm. my knowledge, that doesn't affect. Oh, creatures immune if it can't hear you. That's a that's actually a really good question. Um, if they would be affected by their own. Creatures are deafened while in the swarm's space. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well. The swarm is within its own space. They look Sorry. at you and then turn back and then continue to maul the armpit. <laughs> they bleed right. Nine damage. Ouch. Skellingtons. Thrayan. Okay. Um, are they attacking me? Or is they are. One me... swings with a six, one swings with a 19. No, oh, I'm gonna say that you I miss think they both way. miss, and they do. 19 misses you? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. You've missed what my What do you see, baby? Oh, I apologize, Jade. Um, we'll come back to that attack. Prion, you're up. I stand up and hit the big one uh my the big one the familiar big flies one. in and i hit the first one with a natural 20. Ooh. nice uh, oh yes 22 damage damn and then i attack it again a mighty blow for a 12 to hit 
the ground trembles. Twelve is going to oh, miss, God, unfortunately. So okay. And as the one that comes in and attacks Sarayan, I take an attack of opportunity. <clears throat> uh, yeah, because you've had your turn, so you can do it. All right, so that one would have gotten to about there. Um, For 13 to hit. That hits a skeleton. Nice. Uh, eight damage. All right, it's slashing damage. All right. So it's piercing. Piercing? All right. Piercing it still does the damage. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. All right, now the one comes in, the one comes in, and we have no 13 right, to hit, but we do have there. a six to hit Saran, which will not uh, be enough to hit Saran, I don't think. Uh, the one here will pull out a bow and um, attack. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Um, let's make sure Z has brought up something. Um, your right. shield of faith is being factored into your AC, so. Uh, oh! Unless you have that up, that is on somebody else that's not on you, so make sure. No, I know. Yeah, no, my AC is 20. Liz has full plate and yeah. the armored, right. or do you have shield. Yeah, the dueling fight now? Yeah. I, I do guess have on a your, field. I guess on your, um, your, uh, on your character sheet is, I guess what Z must be referring to. Although, I guess Z could be mistaken. I'll look I at it. I doubt it. Um, all right, Skeleton. Gadrizel with an eight. Wow, this is fun. All right. Melvin, short swords, eight and 22 to hit. Uh, yeah, the 22 will hit. Three points of piercing um, damage. Take right. that. Okay. And it brings us back to the other. All right, DM, did you say I got hit by an arrow? Uh, it, it shot at you, but it did not hit you. It did not hit me. God. I did not ask for, I didn't really um, wait for the result because it was a nine, so. So, um, sorry, just before we move on, I don't know why it's taking that into account because I did not cast it on myself. Um, but um, I, is... I know what the problem is and I can help you if you need. Okay, so yeah, my AC though is 18. Mm, oh, okay. Your your AC right now, it's it's taking chain mail, not full plate. That's I... what's yeah, on you your might sheet. need to untick chain mail. Yeah. Okay. So AC should, should be 20, shouldn't it? Yep, 18 plus the two from yeah. uh, a shield. Yep, that sounds right. Yeah. For a swarm here, DM. All right, thanks, friendos. Yeah. Um, is this going to be if I just shoot right at it point blank with the um, the uh, uh, Eldritch blast? Is that uh, a disadvantage? Yes. All right. So she stays in this swarm um, and just does two Eldritch blasts, one to each side, trying to blast them off of her. So the first one, it's AC nine. Nine will not do it, unfortunately. Right. Second one, that was good damage roll too, unfortunately. Second one comes up and hits AC 11. Still um, will not do it. They All right. are uh, armored. Doll shoots another arrow. Pretty little bit hit. Getting all monkey here. You're getting, these are like monk types of. Uh, 21 to hit. That hits. One point of damage. Nice. Um, and Gadrazel then makes his attacks. Um, going singular to attack, I believe. Uh, uh, singular attack, excuse me. Um, strikes out. Hitting AC 19. Hits. And it's going to do... Oh, ho, 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 maximum damage! With double sixes rolled. So, <laughs> that's going to be... Not that great. Um, so, uh, nine points of piercing damage, but also six points of force damage. Okay, gotcha. And that is another done. All right. Could I have taken Melvin. the bonus action DM? Could you have? Yeah, I didn't take one. So, what was what were you hoping to do? Uh, 
to get some hit points back. Second wind. That's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll mine back. Melvin. Um, well, Melvin is deafened and terrified and stabbed and bleeding. So, having a great time, in other words. <laughs> uh, um, Melvin is going to, um, if Melvin casts an area of effect and includes his space, does he get hit by it? Like Thunderwave? Can he hit the, uh, the the swarm that's in his space without hitting himself? No. Okay. You could Worth a step shot. back to here and do it. Yeah, and provoke a bunch of attacks of opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> two of yeah. them. Well, if you just step back step, one, you can be do it. One. You can do it. Yeah, step up and you'll, you yeah, would only hit, get one attack of opportunity. One. Yeah, Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll step do there. You dare? I do dare. A... 13 to hit. That does not meet my armor class. All right. Currently AC 18. Um, and then I will, in fact, uh, hold my book out in front of me and snap it shut as I cast Thunder Wave. Oh! Um, class dismissed! Uh, <laughs> so I will need constitution saving throws for, em- for anybody inside the box, which I'm going to say is, you know, the horde and then those two individuals, but not Mariah. Thanks. Yeah. They're pretty they're pretty constitution-y. I have a 16 on the swarm and then I have a 5 and a 12 on the um, little guys. Okay, so the little guys take full damage um, and are pushed 10 feet away mm-hmm. in that direction. Um, and then the big one takes half damage. Okay. Noted. That's kind of a sad roll, but that's all right. It was not in super inspiring, but no. no. Still did some damage. All right. I'm going to try to recharge my avalanche. I recharge my avalanche. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, <laughs> my avalanche. First, I lose some hit points. Uh, avalanche. Cool. Um, anyone within uh, it's all creatures within 10 feet so including my allied skeletons avalanche of bones please Melvin, Sarayan hey, uh, Prion and the two skeletons please make a dexterity saving throw a double fail a four 19 nice a five Melvin. Melvin. You are saving versus 14 points of damage and the prone condition. So if you pass it, what do you get? Half? Half. And no, no mm. prone, no? Correct. So, Ryan, you're going to have to make a constitution check for concentration? Indeed. You're good. Melvin is still shielded by your faith. Um, and what strong faith it is. Mm-hmm. And that is yeah. the end of that turn. <laughs> uh, so, Melvin, you are prone. Okay. Yep. As is Saran as deafened? well. Yep. You are. Great. Awesome. Yep. Does that mean the swarm took damage as well? Um, the, uh, what, 14, <laughs> yeah, so, no, the swarm doesn't, but it absolutely obliterates the two skeletons next to it. Um, it's more the hit points than they had, so. Uh, Sarayan, you are knocked down, but you can get right back up again as you <laughs> take your turn You knock right me it. down. I get back you up get again. Down. <laughs> You're never going to keep me down. <laughs> Yay. I'm just, I, I just, I like pissing the night away with you guys playing D and D. It's great. Circa two thousand. Saying these. Um. Also, so just to clarify, 
the tall bone guy is the one who keeps falling on me. Yeah. 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 Great. He's, he's okay. the one avalanching on you guys. Perfect. So Sarayan is going to use half her movement to pull herself back up. She's going <sighs> to say, I'm getting really sick of this. And she's going to take Wave and whack at him again. With a 19 to hit. Hits. And then she is going to Divine Smite that B. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Sir. Boopily boop boop up. Beep. You Why guessed did it. it do that? It's undead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Guessed. What? <laughs> Alright, let's see. So Please. I would have. Actually, it's, it's six kobolds in a bone suit. Working at like <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just trying to make it in this world. Um, so Six I clicked divine smite. Yep. Yeah. What on, uh, what spell level did you cast it at? Um, I'm gonna cast it Aert. I have a second level slot, so I'm gonna cast it at second okay, level. Okay. Roll four d8 in that case. Cool. And I'll just do it on roll twenty. And so mm-hmm. that's 14 extra points of damage. 14. All right. This thing is quickly looking to be in shambles. But it is and still up. so having done Divine Smite on the first action and that being an attack action, can I still take the second attack? Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm going to hit it again. And I'm going to say, why won't you die? Uh, and I'm gonna click through all of my windows because I have 80 tabs open. Uh, let's see. Wave. Beep boop pop. Beep boop pop. <laughs> <laughs> and that is an 18 for 10. Definitely points. hits. And um, I guess I could do another divine smite? <laughs> Question mark or no? <laughs> I have like a searing smite that I could do. That you need to use before you attack. That's the bonus okay. action one. Cool. And you can't divine smite twice on a turn. No, you can. Okay, you can. can. Oh, yeah, sorry. If you, if you, okay. As long as you have a spell slot. slot, yeah. I do. I have a level one spell slot. So I'm a divine smite again. Roll that damage. I have to. I'll be right super back real quick. Okay. It, it, not super just back. back. So it would be right 3d8. Super back. Super back. <laughs> It'd be 3d8 this time, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Ha <laughs> seven. Wolf. So I don't well, know. It's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, still 20 true. damage on that attack. Still 20 yeah. damage. That's uh, uh, no, right. 17. First, first round of damage. Ten. Oh, she why hit not? twice. Oh, okay. Got it. Yep, I see mm-hmm. that. Got it. <sighs> Got it. We're doing great, guys. Can't hear you. <laughs> what? Ma. 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 Ha. Nice. No. Ba 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 I think I'm the only one in my life who doesn't like that video. Oh, I did find that funny. It's stupid. It's so stupid. I'm laughing not so much because I find it funny, but I'm laughing at myself because I find it funny. <laughs> Kraken dice, Kraken dice, Kraken dice. We're sponsored by Kraken dice. Who wants to talk about a special giveaway? There's a special giveaway going on. Giveaway with Kraken dice. Yeah. Yeah, those dice are actually really cool. Uh, there's one called the Pixie, I think it is, um, that uh, has gold lettering, and it's one of only two that have nymph. been made of that type. Is, that is always oh, it the nymph? nymph? nymph. Yeah. The nymph. I thought it was called the Pixie. There were a what couple dice of? releases uh, within the last week that were Pixie related. There's some today that were released called Pixie. Oh, okay. Is it is Peach That's, Bellini be one of the special ones? Peach, yeah, yes. yeah, they've been out of stock for two years. The people have been yeah. asking them to, to bring them back in. So if you Those like to drink peach dice. bellinis while you play D&D, roll some peach bellini dice. I love you the know? Super, I super on brand. It. Yeah. That would be perfect for somebody who's playing an extremely girly character. Yeah. Or someone who's playing a or very an manly extremely, character who likes pink. Or an extremely alcoholic character. <laughs> yep. I'll post the link I to mean, the giveaway in chat. it applies to a lot. But yeah. the, the other ones, obviously... There's only two sets made in the world, so you'll yeah. be the owner of 
that second My daughter set. would love the pink dice. Yes, the, you're so right. I was thinking back. of the not just pummeled back. pixie port. He's super, He's super back. back. I know. I was. I, I was. Uh, I, I was back. panicking when I said that. So. Baby um, got. Back. By that I mean. You went into a blind panic and was like. Super mm. back. I'll be super back. Yes. So extra seven points of damage on the smite. Very total nice. Seventeen. For a total of seventeen. Just barely holding together. Come on. Die baby, already. Hold together. Oh, yeah. Not quite. Mariah, you are in the midst of dozens of skeletons. They're yeah. clattering, clanking, deafening you. I really don't appreciate that. Um, So I'm going to disengage. Well, can't you okay. just fuck these foot guys. Step. What? Can't you five foot step to the left? No, I want... Well, five foot step doesn't exist in this game. But also, I oh, well, don't want to be where I am. You could step five feet to the left, that's true. I also uh, don't want to be in the middle of this clusterfuck, so... Bye. <laughs> Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> um, And then I'm going to... um cast a super high and I confirmed that uh, Melvin's deafness has no effect on the spell. Um, y- you get a really high level healing word, dude. <laughs> yeah, as long as you say the word, yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> so take 14 points of healing. Oh, thank you. I was hurting. Yeah, I know. Those bones. Those bones did not do you any favors. Dem bones, dem bones. <laughs> dem bones. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to hang out over here now. <laughs> hey, the coast is that way, y'all. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. That's my turn. I'm Swarm you turn. Move, Did you move? Yeah. That's not I'm over here now. My screen. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I'm like way off to the side on my screen. I yeah, see it I as see well. it too. Yeah, yeah I, I see it. Jade. Uh, I've got a 13 to hit now Mr. In the bed. Now you Mr. Beaver with the swarm. Mr. Beaver has not been hit. Ah, yeah, right. out. we'll move in here. Any one of you prone? Melvin? Nope. Me. Oh, Melvin. Okay, we'll attack Melvin. I haven't gotten a turn yet since I went prone. <laughs> All right, I guess. <laughs> womp, 15, womp. Does 15 hit? No. AC 18 Thanks still. Thanks to Sarayan? It was 16 before she cast it on me, but yes. Okay. Oh my god, can you just, like, give me this moment, please? (laughs) (laughs) Damn, bro. I'm I'm deafened. I can't respond to anything. (laughs) Disappointing Uh, swarms. Are you freaking kidding me? See your your book on top of your head, just... (laughs) Prionza. I will hit the big boy with an advantage. Hitting armor class 22. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Wow. Four damage. <laughs> that happens my friend. Does it die? No. All right, I was I was hit it again. Except it again. At Twenty. Yep. Oh my god, five points of damage. <laughs> I thought you were gonna kill it, honestly. <laughs> I'm action surgeon. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, Short rests, man. 18 to hit. Hits. 12 points of damage. And it collapses into a heap of lovely bones. And I hit the swarm. Oh. Bad swarm. That's concerning. That 16. Book. Oh, God. Yeah, really. Oh, yikes. <laughs> so Way to go, Prion! Eight you points did on, it. on the swarm. Cool. And I will stay there and meanwhile since all of you are in the storm you can't hear me doing this really really amazing like chant from across the dunes you know i take an attack if he's coming near me okay Uh, 17 to hit yeah that hits so 11 damage almost kills him and he stays there right yep Okay, and a bow will attack you as well. 17 doesn't hit you? Nope. AC 18, I believe. Uh, it's 15 hit Gladrizel. It uh, does not. He has an AC of 16. Grr. All right, and finally against you, Nether, 16 to hit. I do apologize. AC of 15. You are correct. It does hit Gladrizel. 
Ah. Three points of piercing. Three Take that, sir. Piercing. Got it. And does 16 hit you? It does. Six points of piercing. All right. Uh, as a reaction to that, uh, Nether turns invisible and disappears and face steps to here. Cool. And Jeez, your turn begins. Invisible. And my turn begins. Okay, just a second. Let me take all that damage. You said... How much? Six points of Three piercing? to Gladrazel and six to Nether. Got it. So, uh, as the damage hits her, she just sort of turns poof, into mist, and then, which is immediately evaporated in the desert air, and then coalesces again right next to the uh, uh, swarm and the skeletons, and poof, comes back up, and she says, uh, what does she say? And she smashes down in a large um, uh, collection of sort of kelp and seaweed just comes up out of the sand and hits everything within 10 feet of her. I will need That's a lot um, of things. I will need uh, see strength saving throws from everything, including Gatrazel. Who has succeeded. I, uh... Well... I, like, need to take a picture of this to show you guys, but I have... It's a good thing that this wasn't a tax, but my strength saving throws on my skeletons who get a plus zero were 18, 19, 18, 18. <laughs> so, nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, save, so they'll take half damage from this. That was... Uh, wow. If that had been other things, that could have been a bad turn. Bad turn. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's Gadrizel. also has failed. So um, that's going to be 46 damage. Ooh. So 16 points of bludgeoning damage. So it kills this one which had been damaged. It kills this one which had been damaged. These uh, other two. Necrotic damage, not bludgeoning, necrotic. Oh, it doesn't matter. Too much of a good thing can kill you if you're a skeleton, even. So there we go. <laughs> and go ahead and take that's that your off of turn for Gadrizel. the spell. Gladrizel time, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so Gladrizel is down to that. On his hit points, he attacks the swarm with his short sword. Um, may I use my... Um... No, never mind. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, it's AC... 21. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the damage is... <laughs> the dice giveth, the dice taketh away. Uh, double ones, so that's four points of piercing damage and one point of necrotic damage. Uh, not necrotic, uh, force damage. Yep, yep. And um, as my bonus action, <laughs> Dahl shoots. Boink! Getting AC 12. Oh, that will boink off the big one. Alrighty. That is nether done. Melvin. Um, well, Melvin's going to stand up from prone. For Shaking off movement. the dozens of skeletons trying to <laughs> bite through <laughs> your um, robes and trying to steal your book and everything. But to say, oh, my book. Make sure that the, the swarm took took damage as well, right? You, you did save some skeletons. I didn't hear a save for the swarm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Swarm fails, takes full damage. Full damage was 16. Necrotic. Sorry, Melvin. No, no worries. Um, I was thinking anyways. I'm always thinking. Um, I will uh, hold my, uh, my um, quill out, and I'm going to cast a Scorching Ray as um, four beams of radiant light shoot out of the end of my quill as I am changing damage types here to radiant um, from fire and I will be casting Scorching Ray and I'm going to target one at each of the swarms the and then knowledge. I do believe so against just against the one I'm in combat with though right? No. Or is it against everybody? Attack made while threatened um, within five feet is disadvantage. 
You could back up. I will move first. Try to get out. Um, I will attempt to move out of range. I have 15 more feet of movement, so I should be able to get to there. I will provoke an attack of opportunity, though. Uh, hit uh, 12 is what the attack was. That misses. Um, I assume I'm no longer deafened if I'm there. Correct. Perfect. And, um, yeah, then I will, uh, scorching ray, uh, with radiant damage. Um, so that'll be a seven or 24 on the first swarm. Mm hmm. Um, for nine points of radiant. Okay. And then second swarm will be a 26. Yeah. For all oh, two points of radiant. <laughs> Rip. Okay. Um, and then I'm hitting the, uh, buddy with a bow and this guy here, who I am not sure has done anything yet, to be honest. Um... I think he took a swing at someone. Okay. Well, that's a 10 Buddy to hit the guy with, with the bow. The bow is a miss. Okay. Well, and then the last guy is a 15. That hits. Your minimum alive. damage will kill him. He has two hit points. Five, Boom. Eight, five radiant. Cool. Yeah. Nice. That's something at least. And yeah. Nice. You guys that got this, something. and I'm going to hide behind my book. <laughs> Okay, you hide and you can see beyond you Sarayan immersed in a swarm of skeletons trying to claw at her and Prion who are standing shoulder to shoulder fighting heroically against these, this undead horde. Um, Sarayan, it's your turn. Not that all of you aren't heroic, I'm just saying. Son of an undead Gee, horde. Thanks. <laughs> You're heroic in different ways. Um, Let's see. I shall... Now that we have felled the giant bony guy. So I'm in the swarm, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that means You're in it. I'm I'm in it. And so does that mean also though that I'm immediately deafened? You are deafened, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um sorry if I missed that little cute moment. Um I'll put deafened. Sir, but I can fight from within the storm mm-hmm. or the swarm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, oh, my swords. let's see. I have no more spell slots, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see. I'm trying swing to see. Swing away. I swing away, swing away, swing away all. Um. I am trying to see if I'm like understanding yet what wave can do, like what besides adding plus three, like where I because it has three charges. So, what is it if I expend a charge? It's just to do dominate beast the or what? F- yes. Okay, cool. Just wanted to double check that there wasn't anything I was missing. So yes, I shall swing away, swing away, swing away all and take some attacks with wave and the first one is a haha 10 because i rolled a nat one cute cute um and the second one is a 27 to hit (laughs) um yeah absolutely 27 hits okay so that's 13 points of piercing move slightly out as well oh yeah great sorry i forgot that i was not also prone okay cool Okay. So anyone actually stepping, I didn't catch this before, but for now, um, anyone, you feel that if you stepped out, you would be stepping away from some of these inner skeletons and actually moving outside of its area will provoke an attack of opportunity as its weapon range is zero feet. So stepping five feet away from it would be indeed stepping um <laughs> would be stepping beyond its reach so so i'm just gonna stay in right. the thick of it i think gotcha. but i think uh when when mariah went out she took the dodge action i and, I, yeah, I did and, I just and when I went we would have missed, missed one on someone but i'm not bothered by it okay um, 
I just right. kind of noticed it, so that one's on me. Mariah, speaking of. Wait, can I? Hey. Oh, I've already taken my actions. <laughs> Bye. Don't listen to me. See ya. Yeah. You could bonus um, action if you want, if you have one. Ooh, I do have a dodge. Can I dodge with a bonus action, though? No. Not that's yeah, that's not what I thought. Yeah, I already Zelmira. took my two. Yeah, yeah. Zelmira Near could. Okay, so Zelmira suddenly becomes serrated, and no, I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> um, I do not have a lot of great options, so I will. Um, Times mediocre gets the job done. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna look over towards the swarm and can't even take down two people. Y'all suck <laughs> to make a wisdom save. <laughs> um, if Serene could have heard that, she would have been like, get him! <laughs> so, if you want to switch up before, everything is deafened, right? Did we say that? Oh shit! Fuck. Right. If you're yeah. in it, yeah. sorry. Um, then, well, because he's counting it, the swarm as being deafened. <laughs> then, which, okay. Um, then I'll just I'll do the one that's over there. Okay. Can't shoot uh, for shit. He, he rolls a fourteen. He knows it's true. Okay. Damn, yeah. So right. <laughs> uh, four points psychic damage. When you see his his. Uh, head kind of slump and it's less of a slouch is more like some of the sinewy tendons just kind of come loose and the, the skull just kind of bobs forward in disappointment um yeah anything else uh i'm gonna scooch over there <laughs> okay let's see if we can do something um let's attack let's see even saran on Priyan. Evens, Saran. Aha! 19 to hit. The a skeletal fool. swarm. It does not hit. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I called you a fool, Peter. I felt, felt bad for that. Gladrizel. <laughs> 23 to hit Gladrizel. Well, that, for... will hit the, that will hit the beaver. Hit the <laughs> um, And it does a sad. Actually, it's six points of slashing. So there you six go. Six points. <laughs> It's beaver for Al. Freon's turn. <laughs> My go. Okay. I rinse and repeat. Do it. Do, Do it, it, England. 14 to hit. Hits. For 12 piercing. Okay. Uh, 11 probably misses. That does miss. Shatley. Shatley, she. Uh, let's roll some quick skeleton attacks. That's probably going to be important. Um, last one. Uh, nope. I have a... F actually, fifth... <laughs> Again, the one just... Glad Drizelle's getting just absolutely swarmed here. Also, Nether, are you visible now? I, sorry, I can't hear you. Are you? Yes. Okay. I didn't know what down meant either. Um, that means yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't. I did not know that. Um, but it won't make so a difference. We'll just do the same thing. Uh, <laughs> fif Fifteen to hit. So God, seven points you. of piercing to Gladrizel. <laughs> and it's your turn. Oh, Gladrizel is not looking so right. <laughs> I just got here! <laughs> Alright, uh, oh. Nether is going to <laughs> send out two um, beams of force at the two skeletons. Okay. Not a disadvantage, correct? You said the swarm uh, has a It's within a five feet of you. But it has, it can only threaten what's in its space. Yeah. I'm not in a. I'm not currently in a threatened <laughs> space. Correct. Uh, I suppose that's true. All right. Yeah. It's up to you. No. Yeah, cool. no, no, no go for Zero it. Zero attacks. Yeah. Right. So she will shoot twice. Um, the first one going at the top. 
Hitting AC 14, doing five points of force damage. Okay, five is was its hit points. Right. Clatters in into both the one below. Hitting AC 24, doing six yes. points of force damage. And kills that one. And two shots, Gadrizel, two kills. And Gadrizel will attack the uh, swarm with his dying breath. Yeah. Uh, hitting AC 26. Mm-hmm. Does uh, four points of piercing damage and five points of force damage. Nice. And then, is it up still? Yes, the swarm is. All right, and then the <laughs> doll will shoot. Hitting AC 24. Uh, yeah. Doing one point of damage. There we go. Never that count out that. those ones. At this point, um, with the big guy down, with the ancillary dudes all done, um, these swarms are uh, probably with their single attacks not going to be a threat. So at this point, I think we can consider this a victory as the rest of the skeletons quickly fall beneath your um, well, mighty blows. The prime material plane is very, very pointy. I can't yeah. hear anything. Six. Oh, get, oh. Get, get the sand out of your ears. Oh. <laughs> Saran's hitting and, the side of her head. <laughs> and maybe oh, the I got it. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay. I'm really done with today, guys. This, this is the, I, where's our ship? It's what you meant I mean, by our bullshit. boat. Oh, ship is correct. Well, we need the jolly also, boat in order to yeah, get to the ship. Talking about yeah, we need that the jolly boat. boat. Be yes. Yeah. I'm just, there. I start stalking off over the dudes. Like, where's my goddamn boat? Hey, Not don't go, way. Not don't go way. alone. <laughs> in the right path. It is, it is there. Um, oh, good. Uh, just waiting, uh, tied up, just a few feet off the off the beach, and and the the two dudes that haven't killed each other. Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see the uh, sort of <laughs> armored, uh, yes, armored half elf just kind of sitting there waiting. Um, he's he was just kind of watching in interest during this battle. Um, and. Uh, there is the also the pirate sitting there, um, both of them watching, waiting for you guys to return. They seem to be on the very much opposite sides of the boat. <laughs> um, get get getting into the boat. I'm going to turn to the the half elf and be like, "Did you enjoy the show?" I'm glad I didn't have to contend with all of you. Yeah. At that moment, I come come over the edge of the dune with my four ballista floating <laughs> behind me. <laughs> I think you're going to need a bigger boat. We might need to do two trips here. <laughs> Andrew, uh, you did, you did uh, very well. Uh, I would like to go back to that fey wild now. You may. And she Hi, Beaver! Concentration. <sighs> on um, summon Fay, and joins the group. All right, is this gonna is this gonna be a a, a two parter, Peter? Are we gonna have to go in shifts on the jolly boat back to Pixie? With the ballistas, yes. Okay. Like, is, it, is this one of those one of those logic puzzles where we have to send the the wolf <laughs> and the sheep and across and the? Well, we can still use the, the same principle, can't we not? Uh, I'll I'll go on the first trip, definitely. Can't we still I mean, use the same principle? The question would be, I guess, fl does floating disc work over water? Why wouldn't it? Or does it count as Those a change kind of in elevation? discs don't work on water! Unless you've got power! <laughs> floating what disc. Fuck? What? Oh, you young children. I don't know what it was, but I like. You don't it. recognize a quote from Back to the Future 2? Uh, oh, from is that the one no. where they're cowboys? Okay, no, yeah. that's the. Third I one. only ever really watched oh. the first one, TBH. Oh, damn! I know. I was. was, a, I was a very. I wouldn't say that I was an uncultured child. I was just very specifically cultured. Fair enough. Three feet above the ground. 
Yep. I, the water is decidedly not the ground. So. That's kind of what that's I. Really that's funny. kind of what I figured. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Not what I learned in science class. We we'll just move Two it trips. underneath. Two trips. All right. We'll take. Well, it will take. Three, you said. I said two, didn't I? Two? So I, I had trouble hearing you. I don't know why there was like some like skeleton wards in your room or something. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's yeah. that's All totally right. what no. happened. Two um trips. okay, so I'll go on the first trip. Let's take one of our two guests. <laughs> that's smart. I'm more than happy to swim. Um, okay. I can swim too. Okay. I Bay can. Leaf, the half elf. We know. Um, readily hops into the boat um without uh waiting for you uh um and uh you will be able to make the second trip with your pirate friend um without any issue which will bring you to your boat and your crew anxious very nervous about how long you've been gone but um as you reboard the ship and Mariah reboards, everyone just kind of stands at attention, looking around, waiting for orders. All right. Well, we got to send the jolly boat back for round two, but um, y'all are going to be pretty happy when we get back to town. Uh, you, you found something good there, Captain. Oh, there's a lot that's shiny. Some red ice. Ah. Uh, uh, that's it. Um, uh, three cheers for Mariah, the savior Mariah, of orphans. Hip hip hurrah! Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Captain hooray! Called Mariah. Uh, <laughs> and they give uh, uh, they give three cheers, and um, you all will be able to travel up, load up, and give the orders of where you're headed next. Awesome. Um, so I, I assume think... it's back to Salt Marsh, but yeah, I. Think it's back to salt marsh i think we should probably offload passenger slash go get some material components for revive spells <laughs> sounds like a good a useful thing to have yeah well good um all right so aboard you're all good and a course is set um Seeing your weariness and it being close to evening now, the crew does offer to um, to man the uh, man the ship for the evening for you. Um, your trusted awesome. officers, the best crew members, are um, allowing you to use this time to have a long rest uh, while you sail back to Salt Marsh. In addition to whatever uh, regular duties there are in um, maintaining the boat's course, ship's course, um, I would like there to be someone at all times uh, guarding whatever room our guest passenger is uh, in, making sure that he doesn't do anything shifty. Okay, both of them, or no, one of them just in not not the one that's not the one that's joining the crew. Um, that person, obviously, like, will need to be like introduced to the people that he's like you know taking orders from and like put like folded into the crew but the the person that's just the passenger that just wanted off yeah. the island um that person i would just like to have yeah. someone kind of keeping an eye on them okay they do so he does not make um he doesn't seem to make any effort to hide himself through most of the night here or through most of the time he actually is just leaning he's up on the quarter deck the front part of the ship gazing on the horizon he then kind of leans against the gunnel railing and just takes out a dagger and a um shard, what looks like a shard of uh, glass and just begins to shave um a bit as the ship rises and falls um he looks very comfortable all right and um so on your way back to salt marsh please complete a long rest yes thank god and we will pick up after our little break it has become that time of evening no um it is evening and um the ship is sailing across the sword coast in uh the sea of swords rather at a moderate clip catching the wind in just the right way. Soft rise and fall lulls most of you to sleep. Even those of you not used to sleeping on a ship, the tossing 
isn't unpleasant, just a nice, easy rocking. Probably promote you all to go to sleep after a long, arduous day in the um, on the aisle of the abbey. Sleep comes for you all, and the night passes. Just before dawn, when the sky is just beginning to show the barest hints of orange on the horizon, Mariah, you are startled awake by a kunk, 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 knock on the cabin door. Yeah. Oh. Captain. One sec. Find the door. What? Captain, uh, something strange to report on watch. May I come in? Yeah, what's up? Kind of walks in and then goes to the window. Um, we're almost back to Salt Marsh. And, uh, throws down, um, his watch hood. You see beautiful curly hair and two bright amber eyes turned back to you. Did you miss me? Um, the honest answer is no, not really. Um, I was kind of, I was okay with you. You're sort of not really making an appearance um, for a while, but um, welcome back. Oh, thanks. Um, you remember me, though, right? I'm, I made distinctly, an distinctly. Good, good. Um, for those of you just tuning in, the party at one point um, sort of unwittingly released a vampire from a tomb in which he was trapped. That vampire's name is Jolek, who has been missing for some time. Interesting name it is. X-O-L-E-C is the way it is spelled. Um, a, perhaps it is a name that was a secret to a family, and it was certainly a secret that Jolek was hidden away for so long. Um, it's even a secret that Jolek was um, the way he was imprisoned in Salt Marsh. So yes, the secret word for our giveaway <laughs> on Twitter is hey. Jolek. As you can see, um, next to the helm there by Klaus the Kraken. So use Jolek for five entries to our Twitter giveaway. You can go and do that at any time. But, you know, don't spoil it for everyone else. If they're not here, make them show up and, and get those uh, and, and, and watch the stream for their giveaway. So secret code Jolek. Go and use it. Now, um, smiles and then says, I talked to your friend about the deal um, leading you in to root out the corruption, something, but you seem to be have taken on some sort of leadership position here. Would you still be interested in this arrangement? A um, couple clarifying questions. I hunt questions. the bad guys and lead you a nice bloody trail to their leaders. A <laughs> couple of clarifying questions. Um, which friend? The hulky sea elf one. Ah, Priya, gotcha. Um, and second, um, not so much a question, more of a, I'm just gonna toss this into the conversation. Um, leadership position is a little bit of a more solid description for what feels like a very loose association in some ways. That's not the way it appears to me. How does it appear to you? Though? As long as I've been here, it seems you're in pretty good control of this whole thing. You're talking about Salt Marsh, right? Not the ship. Because the ship, we have very, very distinct roles. Sure. You're saying this doesn't extend to land? <sighs> My friends and I exert a certain amount of influence due to the good that we have done for the town. Um, we don't occupy any official positions in town. That's not to say that. This is, I know, I know, I know. Um, oh, I just thought maybe you could convince them. You seem to be good at that. If 
what you want to have done. If we made a little deal, I bet you could convince them of just about anything. I I know typically I typically don't make <sighs> hmm. wouldn't be very good faith of you, would it? And I prefer deals to be made on good faith if they're going to be made at all. Fine. I'm just asking if you're still interested. I would be interested to hear terms. I, I told you the terms. I get to kill those that I want to kill, and the bloody trail leads you to those corrupt in Salt Marsh. And I mean very corrupt. How do you decide who you kill? What's your criteria? Oh, that's my favorite subject. Um, I watch people and, well, when I, sometimes when I see someone that, well, at least when I used to, that I thought, hmm, I haven't watched the life drain from a person that has that type of life before. I, Try it out and see if there's a difference. There's a difference in the terror of one who is ready. The one who shuffles along the street, walks slowly, waiting for the end. Or if there's one who has so much less to give. If there's one who knows that his family will die without him. Just the difference in the last spark of their eyes. That's fun. But that also got me shut into a tomb for nearly a century. So, I'd like to avoid that now. And so maybe I will hunt bad people. Show people like you where to find them. And then maybe I can go on. What do you think? I think that your continued interest in salt marsh is intriguing. You are of I do like a significantly it. longer lifespan than myself or my friends or anyone that I've really encountered here. Why bother? That's why don't a why bit just... of an oxymoron in my case, but I see your point. <laughs> Touche. Um, why why stick around? Why you're out? Sarayan carried you out of the crab den, and why not just fuck off somewhere and enjoy the rest of your life? Why stick around and make deals with the likes of us? I like the way the ocean sounds here. Something's always drawn me here. And there's not a lot of, you know, not, not too many temples. You, well, people here are simpler. And, well, I have other plans as well. Mm. That was going to be my other question. When you finish your crusade against, you know, all the evils and corruption of salt marsh what's the end game for Jolak? we'll see how grateful you are when i've done what i've done and i'll keep a few cards closer to my chest for now <laughs> i have one last question and that question is if i say no are you going to make me say yes well, there's a timer on that particular scheme. So I've noticed not everyone continues to do what I tell them after I've made them see that my way's best. So, no. Before today, or I guess, more strictly speaking, before several weeks ago, uh, 
I would have made a decision on this deal fairly quickly. I find now that I respect the opinions of those that I work with a little more than I have in the past. So I don't really feel like I can say yes or no without asking my crew. Uh, think about it. I need to decide if I kill someone interesting or if I just kill another criminal. Well, let me know. I I'll assume that since and... you're here, you're not going anywhere. Oh no, gonna... it's... He looks at... Your watch will probably call for land in 10 or 15 minutes. I can oh. get back to the cove by then. Right. But I need to go immediately. I hope you understand. It's getting uncomfortable here. A little warm for your taste, I think. <laughs> think about it. And he shifts into a mist. It just simply blows out your window. <clears throat> that motherfucker. Okay. And as soon after that, that you hear the kung, 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 clanging of a ship's bell as morning watch has been rung. And soon after that, the um, watch upon the crow's nest calls out land ho, bringing you all back into salt marsh. It's something you all know how to do. The crew and yourselves can bring the ship into port, disembark, and go about your business. Now, before we get fully into that, um, before, uh, just the way things worked out, there was a little bit of business that had been intended to be done in Salt Marsh before the crew left on this particular um uh, journey. It's just for timing purposes and for stream purposes, we said we would replay it as a little bit of a flashback once we got back to Salt Marsh. So um, that involved um, Nether going to have a conversation the night before you left and kind of started um, going after um, the Chandlers and the Abbey and such. So, Nether. It is uh, thinking back to that evening. Uh, you are muted, sir. I'll mute myself. As we are casting off, um, well, when we were leaving to go to uh, the temple that we were being led to, the Chandlers, we had just finished speaking with um, Andrew Solmore and Scarin Wave Chaser. Yes. So she will spend some time in her quarters while she's doing that. Um, she will send Doll to find Scarin Wave Chaser. Chaser. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as uh, Dahl's able to easily make their way to the Anders, uh, to the Solmore house, where they find Scarin in um, sort of the Seneschal's quarters on the main floor. Nice, spacious quarters with a, a fine office um, just off of the main hall. Um, the window is slightly cracked, just barely enough for Dahl to step in, but um, you see Scarin there, seated at a desk, going through some mail, what it looks like, and, and one particular message he's opening at this time and reading, and he has a candle um, on top of the desk, and he looks over the message and then begins to hold it over the candle. Uh, Catches Dahl fire, and he holds knocks it on moment. the window. And you can see this message continue to burn and he drops it into a basket that seems to be full of similar ash and burnt letters. And <clears throat> Scarin goes and comes to the window, looks about. Uh, first of all, before. please don't be alarmed. Who's there? I had thought about trying to change my voice, but you're very clever. Imagine you'd see through anything like that. Let's just say that you've probably already figured out who this is. 
and leave it at that. Something happened to you, child. Isn't that so? We need not Our get voice into that. has changed. We need not has get into that much, much of you. But uh, I wanted to have a conversation with you separate from the rest of well, certain individuals. Show yourself first before we talk. Why? My terms. It's a little difficult for me to do that as I'm not actually here. I'm on a boat sailing away. Hmm. And you can see um, the form of the, the, the butler's face, the seneschal's face kind of shift a bit from his usual annoyed, perturbed look. And then a sharp change happens across his facial features. His jaw hardens, his eyes open a bit more and they become hard, a, a harder, more intense gaze as he looks down um, towards where Dahl is. Not at Dahl, but um, identifying the location, sort of where the sound is coming from. Explain this. Magic. Be open with me, or you have no... <laughs> I understand magic, child. Just a conversation. I could have come in and whispered in your ear, but I'm being polite by staying outside and giving you your privacy. Then come in. Thank you. And he shuts the window and latches it. And then you hear a, a bit of a sound as he takes a key and locks the door, locks it shut. Walks over to the front door of the office, the only other entrance, and also turns the key locking it shut. He shovels a couple papers and puts them into a little bit of a folio and then puts them in the drawer and shuts that as well. Right, Nether. And his form then relaxes into the butler that you know. He looks bored again. And slightly annoyed. What is it exactly you wished? It seems to be that while I'm not stupid enough to think that your intentions are <clears throat> completely aligned with mine, they're enough aligned that there could be a little bit more helpfulness between the two of us. You had asked some questions. I have information. I think you want leverage over Please forgive me, DM. The name escapes you for the moment. Not uh, Ander Solmore. Prime Water. Prime Water. Gelling Prime, Prime Water to make sure that, but to make sure that Saltmarsh doesn't go under the thumb of some other authority. I also have information about a potentially lucrative business opportunity, which I'll be happy to pass on to you as long as. You do some things for me. Ah, there we are. What exactly is it you would ask of me and the Master Solmore? I would like property. Something near the docks. I have a mind to create a charitable establishment help out of work sailors and such get back on their feet that's it well that and the understanding that you'll do what you can to keep salt march from becoming part of some other greater kingdom i think it should be its own thing perhaps a city state beholden to no one else, free to do business on its own terms. 
free to grow prosperous, free to grow to whatever it wants to be, not underneath the aegis of any other power or crown. Am I wrong in thinking that that would suit your purposes as well? Or do you need to consult with It's a very master? inspiring speech. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off the last part of what you said. I said, do you need to consult the master? I know Anders' plans as well as anyone, and his hearts. I'm sure he would be rallied by such a speech. You say you have information. I do. I'm happy to pass it on. If you will do what you can to help me in what I want. It can be done. And just how damning is it? Well, there's two parts. One part you no doubt know, but you may not know exactly where to look in order to achieve what it could do. If you can find it, it would be extremely damning. The other, well, the other I have right here. And it is somewhat damning, more embarrassing, but perhaps it can be trumped up to be something more Right here, you said. The first. You're probably aware that Prime Water engages in slave trade. Really? I don't know if he currently has slaves here in Saltmarsh, but I can tell you where they were. That might be enough. This is alarming, difficult to prove. Valuable, perhaps? Valuable. And the other is this, and um, Dahl pulls out the folded up letter that she took from uh, the uh, um, Prime Water study right before it was lit on fire and she is this the one it. that offers amnesty to mm -hmm. Talise and um yeah Serena, not Serena, Talise and uh Inaris. Uh, Inaris. okay two criminals being dealt with off the books and without the council's knowledge I would imagine that is not good This is a start. Good start. Do you have any proof of Prime Water's other dealings? Or when I anything was of grandeur? Beyond what I've already said? No. And like I said, I can tell you where the slaves were. Whether or not they're still there, I don't know. Maybe you'll find evidence that they were. Or maybe you can do a surprise inspection. I'm helpful in finding things that, and getting into places that people keep hidden. Perhaps I could be of aid in this matter as well. The ones doing this on his behest Tell me, you don't have to tell me now. Write it. Exactly what they sounded like, what they smelled like, anything you can remember about their communication, the nature of the boxes, the nature of the sounds you heard within, or however you saw them. Um, the songs that were sung at the empty net that evening, all of these things are relevant to trace who he is moving slaves through. I can remember most of that, I think, but you'll have to do the writing. 
No need. I will remember if you tell me. All right. Uh, do I need to make any kind of a roll? Um, make a general intelligence check. General intelligence check. I'm going to use my inspiration for this check. So at advantage. Yep. No, not so great. Eight is what I've got. Um, uh, you relay the information. He said, "This is too general. Think on it." Relive it, and tell me again. Yes. Very well. And he walks to the window and begins to unlock it. Nice. No. Oh, there was one more thing. Yes. The business opportunity. I think you will find that the Chandlers no longer live in Saltmarsh, and therefore their entire business is potentially up for sale. If you speak to the youngest... Kaylin. I'm sure she'll be motivated to sell cheaply. I'd like to have a bit of an interest in the profits that are made from this business, should it fall under your or Master Solomor's control. Skarin kind of looks about and then Um, walks over to the desk and begins to write a note. And he motions for doll or whatever is there to come. Can you read? Uh, Nether can read. Although, okay. that's a good question, actually. I don't know that Nether can. Let's, uh, she lost her sight when she was eight. Um, Doll be able think? to communicate written common? Doll can speak Sylvan and Elvish and common. Okay. Then. Okay. Um, the. He will write out. Um, 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 he says if low stakes is what you wish, low stakes shall be your reward. If, um, and then it will say, if you find real condemning information on the Prime Water family that can depose him, his seat will belong to you and your friends, as will the property the Chandlers leave behind. See to it, it will be done. And then he takes the piece of paper and burns it over the candle. Real condemning information. And then he walks to the window and unlocks it and opens it. This is the last time I meet with an invisible voice. Fair enough. I can't help but notice that there's nothing binding you to this agreement. Just no. remember, my friends and I are powerful, and I imagine we'll return from this journey more powerful yet. But it will be a pleasure bringing one such as Primewater down and taking his place. Consider me a motivated ally for the time being. And then Dahl will and then the return to shuts. the pocket dimension and uh, return and appear in Nether's uh, quarters. Okay. And we resume with everyone else. This is about the time you've all arrived in town with a major bounty. Immediately there is joyful, joyful sound as um, the sailors get ready. Have you, I imagine you've talked to the quartermaster by now and divided up the gold. Um, 
there's already talk about just how much is going to be drunk, how the songs they're yeah. going to sing, and mostly how um, much they're going to drink. I um, that would have been my first order of business after Jolec yeah. departed, and um, I would also like um, from my personal fund to pay for a lar an extra large barrel of ale as my sort of gift to the oh, crew. Lovely. Um, so I will make. Uh, the gold gets distributed. It was uh, 1,700, no, uh, plus the 2,000 total. Cool. Okay. So two times, like, what, 100 and... Uh, what are you trying to do? Um, so I'm like 124 to 200 and... 250 times two, so 550 gold for a barrel of ale. That's fine. All right. That there are 124 pints in a barrel, or in a half barrel. <laughs> and I, I have to. 250 will... in a full barrel, so I'm just yeah. doing math. No, it's, <laughs> With, it's totally fine. It I, I will pass an extra little pouch of gold to whoever is responsible for stocking the ship um, to get that extra barrel um, on, my, on my pocket, out of my pocket. That's amazing, and that's almost enough for each one of your crew to have nine pints of ale. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fun. <laughs> a certain percentage of them will no doubt have died of alcohol poisoning. No. I mean, you know, like captain, like crew. So there you go. People can be we all know what kind of boat I run. The, ne the, the next ale. time, no. um, the next time we leave, well, people will be like, "Can I come?" <laughs> you will be um, delivered a message on behalf of the council that will um, say that um, at first they were nervous when you left because of the um, another Huygen attack had happened just to the south of Salt Marsh. Um, some of the incoming forces to help defend against were ambushed, but something happened in the late day and um, most of the Sahuagin forces broke off in many separate directions, um, seeming mm. to retreat in a unorganized fashion, seeming just breaking ranks, and um, they found some of their outposts abandoned that were near Saltmarsh. Whatever force had been sort of assembling en masse seems to have dispersed for now. Cool. Well, I think we so know whatever, what that was about. Uh, yeah. I thought you were going to say that the lizard folk probably put came. together that um, something about the way Wave was being controlled was influencing the attack. The Sahugan are not known to act on anyone else's behest, especially a cult of humanoids. That is very unusual. Um, so this was probably something binding them. There may be revenge later, but certainly not that coordinated and that controlled. Cool. Um, aside from alerting us to that fact, do they want to see us, or are we kind of free to do You're free business? to do whatever you would like for now. Amazing. Um, <sighs> well, so many um, options. <laughs> does anybody want to come with me? Serene, if you property? scroll up in the Zoom chat, I believe um, Elena posted the monetary yep, amount. Yeah, so. Yeah, yours is 1,112 gold and 50 silver. <laughs> I was like minus oh, right. eight hundred gold 800. for me. That's, That's including right, you know, the minus. That's including the minus. As Serene's paying, um, um, as Serene is paying you back, Prion, it's a, it's you a hear um, a voice in your head. She is honorable, isn't she? Keeps her word. <laughs> I take it you are. Wave. Yes, I am Wave. My voice has changed. I will go back to the other one now. <laughs> Hello, Alimus. <laughs> yeah. This is my. This is how I speak mentally. <laughs> I. Different she's, voice. <laughs> she's very honourable. And strong, Robert, wouldn't you think? Strong of spirit, of will. And in body, yes. And in body. She makes a... She's a fine partner to, to fight alongside. 
Don't you think you'd be better if you believed in something more? I, I believe in plenty. What do you believe in, Prion? Honor. Fighting for the weak. Fighting for my friends. I don't need to fight enough for a god, if that's what you're getting at. Goodbye, Prion. Goodbye. And the voice cuts off. <laughs> um... Uh, Saray and you hear the triton in your head again, or the uh, the, the trident. trident in your head. <laughs> the that triton in your head. A bitch. That's another voice. Um, <laughs> this is the voice for the triton in my head. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> your friend Prion doesn't believe, doesn't worship any gods of his people. Um. Not to my my knowledge, no. Does this not disturb you? Ah. Uh, Sarayan, we need allies, and I need you to begin making us allies immediately. But or they perhaps are. perhaps I was not meant for you. Oh. <gasps> but they are my allies. Bring them to the faith. Uh, I don't know that that's really my my place. It is mine. Uh, okay, well, that sounds like a job for you then. <laughs> if if it's if it's your place. Sarayan. Yes. Your kind dwindle beneath the waves, and your religion faster than your kind. What will happen when Persana's forgotten? Persona won't ever be forgotten beneath the waves. See to it. You must. But everyone I know beneath the waves believes in Persona. Where I'm from, at least. Hmm. We need more. See to it. Yes? Um. um oh, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. If you think it's what persona would want I think your pilgrimage would be but a gesture if you didn't and then the um, uh, mental energy releases okay and anyone who is near enough to Serene will have seen her kind of again get that thousand yard stare and the Okay, will have been audible, and so she would have just. Melvin okay. writes that down in his book. <laughs> she like... continues to stare into space. I'll kind of reach over and put an arm around your shoulder. You okay no. there? Oh, um, y yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm okay. Um, Mariah. Yes. Do you believe in 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 a in a god? Well, I acknowledge the existence of all gods, but I feel I owe a certain debt to uh well, Silver Lady. Oh. Do you know anyone who's looking for a, a god to follow? He doesn't like or, people or that really, don't like gods, right? I'm not really uh, up on um, who believes in whom. Um, it's also, I, I'll be totally honest with you, um, not the strongest conversation starter. Like, like for people that you don't know. Like, I didn't mind you I'm asking. I'm already bad at talking to other. people I, I do know. I don't think you're necessarily bad at talking to people. I think that, you know, you're still learning context. Yeah. You came up out of water. Everything's all wacky. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess that's that's true. I think that spend a little more time here, you'll get a little more comfortable with, you know, what kinds of priorities people have up here, and then the conversations will get a little easier. And you think once I become more comfortable with people's priorities, then I can ask them who they follow? Yeah, but, you know, try to be a little subtle about it. Like, I'm, you know. I, I don't I'm know. I'm guessing waves. Waves trying to what? get you waves trying to get you to convert people I don't I know what you're talking about well, I and do. she nods vehemently <laughs> I do, he asked me himself well, I'm not sure how I feel about a proselytizing trident but you know what I think um, helps when we're healing down religious <laughs> um, you know what helps uh, when I'm feeling down um, well, aside from alcohol um, is going shopping so let's go to the market Come on. Oh, oh. We have a shit ton of gold to spend. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Money's no object again. And she <laughs> starts to toddle <laughs> off in the direction of the market. Oh, she's adorable. I'm gonna slowly follow. I wonder if Captain Z is around. Aye, Ooh, that's yeah. where I was going. So, that's a good point. As we come to this point, we'll have... You guys will have some downtime, you'll find. <gasps> um, downtime. That's I did exciting. mention to, has anyone thought about what they'd like to do with that sort of two weeks of time? Um, I have a question about that. Yes. Um, are you using the like Xanathar's downtime rules as far if as If you like... would like, it is valid. Okay. There are many <laughs> activities. Grin. <laughs> I do not know what those rules are. They're on D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond, man. You can do things like pit fighting and carousing and gambling and crime. <laughs> and crying. So, <laughs> that's all I thought you were Although our options may be more limited depending on where we are. <laughs> yeah. The, um... Um... The magic item... Purchasing is one thing that is already written in here. You already have that person found, so that's not necessarily. Um, but other than that, yeah. Cool. You can work, guys. You can yeah, work. That's totally what I want to be doing. Work. <laughs> I don't um, know the meaning of that word. I will... I'm probably going to spend a lot of time at bars. <laughs> Let's be totally honest. Okay. I'll, I'll do Correct. the official carousing. Ryan is going to um, probably spend some of her time following Mariah into these dens of <laughs> sin. <laughs> and oh trying to <laughs> um, become subtle enough to get people on the side of persona. Oh my word. Can I roll for success? With me and try to <laughs> proselytize people? Peter, can I roll to see how many people I, you, I convert? <laughs> you guys are actually gonna spend the time like the weeks <laughs> drinking and proselytizing? Don't you like I, yes! get contacts things, doing that though? Do. The two of you, but what? Don't you like get contacts for doing that though? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, Eventually. I'm you gonna can do, do like it. one. Though if Serene's like... proselytizing, those contacts are just gonna be converts. They're not gonna necessarily be trusted allies. <laughs> we'll, she can we'll she can have out. her converts and I can have my trusted allies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um that's I'll, amazing. I'll spend a week carousing. Okay. <laughs> just in Serene's downtime. Which All is right. probably and, six to seven uh, hours a day. <laughs> All right. So, how about both of you roll? Um, please roll a d100. A d100? Oh my gosh. Also, what type oh, of. Oh, yeah. Are you, you know, kicking it with the, the fishermen? Are you going, you know, bumping elbows with, you know, the middle class merchants? Or are you, you know, uh, sipping tea with the upper class? <laughs> What's the... <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> oh my god! 
good. Oh one my god. Really good content. I am gonna, this is um, gonna be amazing. Honestly. <laughs> which honestly is about how many I expected. Um I I I'll put out to get to know the uh the the movers and shakers of town for the week. Okay. What about you, Saran? Is this was this lower class, higher class, or middle class? Ooh. This was anywhere. Saran no, no, no. found like, herself. I actually need to know for this now. Oh, okay. Um. And also, I need Mariah to roll a d100. I did. I rolled a seventy-five. Okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I wish that we could have switched. <laughs> Yeah, but no, low might be good. Um, it's up, yeah. it's up to you. So you know, the fishermen, the common folk, or the middle folk, the middle type, like the craftsmen and the artisans, or like the total upper class and council people. It is. So having been, uh, you know, sort of royalty in her own right, underneath the waves, Serene <laughs> is going under the sea. Um, Serene and is going to believe that she has the social skills needed to confer <laughs> with people of the upper crust. Okay. <laughs> so cool. she's going to be like, knock, knock, good tidings. <laughs> gotcha. So Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Prasada? Please, <laughs> roll a, please roll a D8. Okay. Both of us or just her? Just her. Okay. A one. <laughs> So, ah. <laughs> you search for two weeks and you find her in the prison. <laughs> so, there is a, um, Burn you, you know, oh, no. visiting it, um, the Oland family is a very um, high class noble family from Waterdeep. And um, you get, you hit it off with this lady, right? She's <laughs> mid fifties and everything about her and you, it just like, uh, it just feels like such a great conversation as you're continuing. And um, you suddenly um, um, meet, you know, she, she introduces you to her son, who's this kind of awkward <laughs> mid twenties kid, um, clearly a rich kid, not very, um, interesting, but asks, it makes the worst small talk with you for about two days. And you don't know why you keep getting invited back to this house. <laughs> Tell and me she leaves with, with the him boyfriend. And, drink tea and um, you know, it's like, why do I just have to sit with this guy? And then um, um, you overhear, um, this is so the very last day of your upper class carousing, you leave the home and overhear the um, um, kid asking his mother, so how do I get to her father to ask for her hand? Um, and <laughs> you now have also a couple retainers that are just sort of following you around as you are aware that this family, very, very, very wealthy and immensely powerful family has decided that you are going to marry their son. Oh my God. You don't gosh. have any choice. Wow. <laughs> they are going very, very, very pushy about it. Um, You'll be so, back for tea tomorrow, Saran. Sure, right? yes. So, um, I just just before I go, um, there's something important. I can't believe it hasn't come up um, prior to this moment, but um, we can be open about everything if you know. We, we should we should be. Right. Of 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 course. Right, Mom? Am I talking? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> talking yeah. to the boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Prince Valium. No, I. I totally, I totally agree. Um, so my, my only thing is that I worship Persona and um, as a, a follower of Persona, I'm expected to marry another follower of Persona. And so would your family be willing to be followers of Persona? <laughs> He kind of looks back at his mom and she shrugs and he looks. I. I'll convert. Okay. Oh my god, it is great news! And you hear a voice in your head. This is excellent. You may hand me to him anytime. Oh, oh, oh. 
Wait, you're gonna come back though, right? I'm just saying, he is worthy to wield me. Oh, great! Okay, yeah, so you're gonna stay with me for a while. I don't think he's getting out much. Uh, yeah, so, um, but I can count... I can count you and your mom and uh, who else is in the house that I that I could count. And the mom is just like, well, I will just have to go look up how to do a persona marriage ceremony. I don't know your customs, but that's going to be the talk of the town. Okay, oh, great. Oh, okay. Um, shit. <laughs> what's your back. favorite colors, honey? Uh, I like coral. Well, that'll be a bit of bit monotone but that's okay oh 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 no 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 then my second favorite color is is teal there we go now that'll be nice like, Coral she's on your like skin a long island uh, mom not, you're like uh, turning so into my aunt <laughs> <laughs> coral well, on your skin oh honey <laughs> well, well here's the thing um uh uh I, I don't know what I was going to I know all the best dressmakers in Waterdeep. Don't worry, I got to... Oh. You do wear dresses, right? Like, I, the, the I armor do, I do. look good in a ceremony. Would you, would that be okay? Oh, yeah, I love to wear dresses. I'm just a, a holy warrior, good. Though, okay, so great. I wear, I'm glad I to wear hear this that. most of the time. We At can put that later, thing we'll... away. Maybe we could donate that uh, that medal you're wearing. And no, stuff. no, 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 no. You won't need it later. You know, you're going to be taken care of. Making babies. No. <laughs> eh, it's all right. He's the third son anyway, but it'll be a good alliance. Hey, what can what can I say? Yeah, my dad oh, always God, told me I so shouldn't weird. marry for a, a good alliance, so he'll also be happy. Um, but I gotta go for now. I'll see you tomorrow for tea. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Heads out the door. <laughs> this is how she walks now. <laughs> yeah, I imagine she's like princess, <laughs> like the Sora princess. Of, yeah. <laughs> Is the Jan? <laughs> oh yeah, the Jan. <laughs> My word. So yeah. um, that is now going to be an ongoing thing. This is honestly, <laughs> Liz. Thank you so much for rolling a ten percent chance for a carousing complication. Um, oh my it's my god! Favorite. I, I just started reading these things and I went, "Oh shit!" That could have been. Um, and I'm you know what? There's a chance on one of these. I'm not going to say which. There's you, you roll one of them, and it just says, "Surprise! You're married." <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That would be a surprise. Also, <laughs> oh, uh, Serene honestly is just thrilled because she's like, "Okay, so that's that's at least." two followers for persona that i didn't have before <laughs> so she is so singularly focused on the goal of two getting so wave is very <laughs> pleased by your converts i will say that um, she's not even really registering anything else yeah. she's just like yeah. oh yeah <laughs> so gotcha um that in that case Surprise, with no complications married. um <laughs> Uh, uh, Mariah, would you please roll a charisma persuasion check? Okay, I'm gonna do this at advantage because I have inspiration. So okay, all right. Roll and are on, what on you're doing? Upper class, or are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, talk to the the upper crust, as okay. Liz called it. Okay. Tom so it with the upper persuasion crust. A <laughs> uh, persuasion check, you said. Yeah. Okay, that is a 19. A 19. All right. You carouse with the upper crust, and um, you are able to secure through some, you know, process of this, two trusted contacts who you feel like you've made a nice connection with. Um, I will give those to you before next week. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. All right, friends. Sorry, do we need to go have shopping? Ideas of what they want to do with this some downtime? Do for a wedding dress? Yes. <laughs> Fittings. I have, I have a couple of things I'd like to do, actually. Okay. Um, what would it be to try and figure out how to incriminate? Oh no! Oh no! Um, Gellin Primewater with his. Uh, 
um, slavering. Slavering? Slaving activities. So I research? will say something to, you know, this whole thing with the Thalassic League, you guys have plenty of documents that connect the Prime Water family and the Chandlers with the sacrifices and all this stuff. Now that, I mean, Melvin has a book that... I have an entire um, book took, of that. Yeah. Which basically shows how the Prime Waters have participated in a, you know, century-long ritual sacrificing the lives of innocent salt marsh people. So well, there's that. I would, I would gather the group together and ask if they would be willing to do that. Okay, that might be a oh, um, conversation sorry. that gets into something. So what? Yeah. What? Um, I just realized uh, on the list of conversations that would need to happen very early in downtime, i.e. day one, is y'all, Jolek wants to kill some people. <laughs> um, are we cool with that or are we not cool with that? Who's Jolek? Jolek, wants Who's Jolek? To kill people. No one. He's the the vampire. I ne we never knew anyone named Jolek. I I don't have any weird stepping, drawings. Stepping out of character for a second. I yeah. feel like that is a good conversation for us to have when we have the other two members of our crew uh, here yeah. as well so, in character. So would it be possible for us to sort of retroactively make clear our intentions to him as we progress through the kind of various elements of downtime, Peter? Or yes, would you like fine. a decision? That's okay, fine. Great. We'll talk about it when we have the whole group there. Just quickly, okay, so massive wonderful. thank you to MCR Music 3 for 300 bits. Nice. Yay. Thank you very much. That's a D6 inspiration. Hey, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and sing now. We'll just keep track of this because it'll probably carry over to the next session um, because there's not a lot going on. Prion, with a natural 20, Whoa. gets it. Thank you very much. All right. Um, but uh, is the would the group that are here be willing to... Um, use the information that we have to link Gellin Primewater. Yes. This is something that Nether wants. Mm. Would be the honorable think, thing to do. It is. I think the the only question that we should answer all of us with some degree of certainty is do we trust Anders and Skarin with the knowledge of this cult? If the answer to that is yes, then that's fine. That's, it, from, from where I'm standing, that's the only question. The greater question would be, if we don't trust them, what's the worst that they could do with it? I don't think they're going to want to engage in it. They're going to leave that to us. That's going to be our mm -hmm. problem. And then the other question is without, so are you telling us like full on, like if Gellin gets taken down, we get a seat or yeah. have you left that out? I've left that out. Okay. So if Gellin goes down, then that's a power vacuum. What happens then? We'll have to wait and see then, won't we? We know that a slaver and someone who is dealing with elements trying to make salt marsh into something that it's not will be gone. And if we give that information to Anders Solmore, then perhaps he'll be able to fill it with somebody with a little more vested interest in salt marsh itself. Hmm. All right. If you don't, that is fine. I will, it's, I will um, use the time to figure out a way to take him down myself. But I'm no, it's I'm fine. Ready for him I to be out of the I can't help but feel a little nervous. It's shaking up the status quo that's been in place for a long time, and that's not to say that the status quo is necessarily a good thing. But that's a lot of change. The status quo is already being shaken up by all of the events. There are different forces trying to pull Salt Marsh apart. I don't think we can stop it from being shaken, but we can hope that it shakes in a way that it's. Well, I can hope that it shakes in a way that I feel is correct. But I understand if what I think is 
contrary to what you think. If you don't want to be a part of it, I totally understand. This isn't I your I trust home. you. I trust you. All right, then. I just want to understand. And not be in the dark. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Um, but is that is the are the books passed over? The books. All right. Sounds like yes. Well then, I don't have to use my downtime investigating Gallon Prime Water, although I kind of still would like to. Yeah. So I I was going to say even with the book. Um, it's a lot to put together, so spending some time Chuck. going back and forth, spending the time going back and forth with Scarin outlining and explaining some of the inconsistencies, what you guys found doing I, I, that I would I thought be... that's too much, yeah. I, I really yeah. would rather it be as simple as, oh, he's dealing in slaves. No, it's, I mean, he might be, but this is something that would be ruinous beyond any sort of, well... Um, you know, and if you spend time investigating even the slavery part too, um, and so is this what you're going to spend the downtime doing? You said, well, there was that, um, I would like to speak to captain Zardoz. Okay. So for your first week, um, how, is there a skill you'd like to focus on to make this check? And are you right. spending so any the money thing, to the grease that the I wheels? Wish to do. I wish to yeah. fulfill the end of the compact with, um, Scar and Wave Chaser to provide, uh, concrete evidence that allows um, Galen Primewater to be uh, disgraced to the point where he no longer has any power. Yep. Um, so whatever you feel that is necessary. I would also like to put into motion my plan to set up a uh, soup kitchen, for one of a better term. Um, is there like a guild hall for uh, sailors and such? There's like a mariner's guild, they call it. It's That's more for um, more experienced seafarers. Like if you need to have a uh, it's a little different but not for like common sailors or fishermen all right um i would like to have this um this uh establishment that i'm gonna i I'd originally thought that i was going to have it close to a poor area of town but i think it needs to be more prominent more visual okay so i think close to the mariners guild hall okay would be good i um, going to look at uh, uh, property there. I'd like to speak with Serene um, and see about if I have a conversation with her about a few things. But uh, what do I need to roll for downtime? Um, let's see. Hearing a lot. So we've identified that. So... Um, Long-term goals, I'd like to build a lighthouse out on the island <laughs> in the, the yeah. bay. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's a significant, very big investment. Yes. Um, so maybe the better was, thing to do is put is, is to spend the spend the time investing money. Sure. Um, I will say you can spend the downtime trying to secure the deeds and a location that you could actually, that you could purchase and own for this and um, secure it. Um, I will have to get back to you on the... I guess on the cost. Um, didn't didn't scare and wave chaser say that I, I was going to be. It would to... yeah. As you but again, this is going to be a long process and right. Basically, you all are going to have to be witnesses to a council meeting, and this is all a plan. So, uh, how about we go with because you're handing these things over, it, it will take time to negotiate with him, but. Um, he will work with you on trying to accomplish those goals if you hand over that information and sort of next session probably we'll talk about the Got immediate it. fallout of that um, when everyone's here and the what actions need to be taken with regard to the council. Um, so we will do that. Um, Prion and we, Melvin, did you have ideas of what? Are, are we are we not doing the magic item stuff? Or are we saving that for later? Um... I was getting sort of through week Down one, I guess. Um, all right. Yes. 
and a conversation with Saran. We want to wait and do that at the end of the week one? Yeah. Yep, that's okay. fine. I uh, just wanted to bring Prion and Melvin in here who hadn't um, gotten a chance to speak up on their downtime just yet. So, Melvin. Prion, did you want to go first? Or... No, mate, you that's go fine. first. Cool. Um, I had three things, two of which don't actually aren't probably going to take any actual downtime. So, small things. Um, okay. So we'll start with the small things. Uh, the first was I wanted to um, use a spell that I have just transcribed into my spell book at the beginning of this downtime, because it doesn't really take me any time at all, uh, okay. which is Magic Mouth. And I'd like to cast Magic Mouth on the um, chest inside the captain's quarters on the ship. Okay. Um, with the triggering effect being anyone who is not a direct member of the party tries yep. to open the chest. It will tell them, hey, this this isn't yours. Uh, you, you shouldn't be opening this. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> so so that's that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing was I was going to ask Serain if she could teach me how to at least tread water so that I don't drown if I fall in water. Of course I can teach you how to swim. Which I figured wouldn't take very much time each day, but just like... An hour or so each day of die. practice, maybe. We'll start our mornings at 6 a.m. with the rise of the sun, and we'll head out onto the beach and swim for an hour. Okay. Yep. That's terrifying, but all right. Don't no, worry about be it, fine. kid. You're going to be fine. <laughs> um, And then the last thing I wanted to do was I wanted to start crafting a magic item. Cool. Good for me. Uh, specifically, a wand of magic missiles, which is a spell I know how to cast, um, which I think should probably help me, or at least make that a slightly easier. Yeah, um, is it? A and that is common, an uncommon, uncommon, item, uncommon. Yeah? So two weeks worth of work. About two hundred gold pieces. Yep, is and that's it? fine. Wow, not a lot. Yeah. Uh, just quickly, just a big thank you to Aya Janassi for ten dollars donation for a healing potion to melvin thank you very much for the donation we don't actually um we roll a dice to see who it goes to just to make it fair but i mean i've got no issues with melvin having one so yeah just fit and take it I, dude. I, I will say i do have at least one if not two currently i've got a greater and a regular i think yes um, i do have a greater you. and a regular so oh, really yeah uh, and yeah, we literally just fine. followed as well so massive thank you oh well cool. thank you um, thank you That's awesome. we are doing a Melvin, massive giveaway you... as well as a giveaway we're currently doing we are sponsored by Kraken dice if an exclamation mark giveaway to, to enter um where we give away 15 dollars store credit and on top of that we've got a special giveaway going which i've just posted in down below for you yeah so massive thank you um melvin would you please roll a d100 Absolutely, yes. Uh, D100. Go. 52. All right, you have no complications. Yes. Um, and yeah. As far as I know, crafting magic items according to Xanathars requires some sort of object or ingredient that you have to go get. So I'm totally happy to not have finished it and have to go get that item to finish it still but. it will be let's say um i'm gonna work on that and it will be yeah. very um it it will be a sim as as simple as like it needs the battery so it, the finishing part will be very simple once you find the item you need um, got it once i decide what that is and no no, no worries all. of that cool i had prion um so I'm, I'm guessing I can't craft magical items. I suppose, I'm assuming you have to be a wizard. Um, uh, an you just check. have to have you know you just have to have proficiency in the tools associated with the item or oh, arcana, okay. one or the other. Or arcana. So, can I get you to craft yeah. me one then? I mean, it mm, takes time. It yeah. took his full two uh, weeks of downtime to do to craft one the uncommon item. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Um, well, obviously, I'm looking to continue learning how to do carpentry for my okay. role on the boat. Yeah. And obviously, I'm also looking for a special weapon. If that could be crafted or I could source it, 
a lot. So here's what you could do. Um, it will take some time, but she um, she can fulfill a magic item request. She would be able to source a magic item for um, a thousand gold, but it might take. You'll have to roll to see how many weeks it would take to yeah. do that. And this is a plus one uncommon magic item, um, magic weapon. Sorry, that's yeah. what you were talking about. It would be about a thousand gold, and it would take. I'm actually going to roll it right now. Oh, I'm looking for something a, a bit more special. Okay, what are you looking for? I did send you. Um, hang on. I think I think at least one of those was very rare, in which we're up talking about like fifty thousand. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking and up for our DMs. What's the um the one that does fire damage? That's Red. a flame tongue, and that's flame not tongue. that. That's another thing that that's. Yeah, it's a, got it on uh, swords and stuff, but I didn't know if it could work with any other weapon. Yeah, so got nothing she, for tridents. That's uh, <clears throat> they could do. Well, there's plus one, but uh, it just makes it magical. But. Yeah. Um. No, that is not on the list of magic items that she can procure. Okay. It's basically from table F or G in the DMG, which we can talk about, which is mostly simpler stuff, I believe. Yeah. Um, plus one weapons, ammunition, you know, bags of holding, ty that type of stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll see if she's got any magical weapons first, I suppose. That's the second week. I'll go okay. There. Um, in that case, we will... Um, if that's the case, then you that will take a week of downtime. You have to pay fifty gold for the option, and she will bring you um, a few options if you would roll. Uh, Didn't we already do that. Gold. What? I think we've already done that, though. Haven't we? We've already paid. It we do them. it every time. That's how it works. She always yeah. has something different. You have to pay her, and she sort of. I think we know. paid her already to go again, now, haven't we? Did we, we pay her as soon as she comes back? Okay. We pay her again. Yeah, we've already paid her. Gotcha. Yeah. We did yeah. pay her the last um, time we talked to her to yeah. go get another set. Gold. It, it, and this is something that I didn't do quite right the last time, but it does take your downtime to continually negotiate with her and talk yeah. with her and stuff. It is a downtime activity um, yeah. to do this. So um, if you spend the week, you can roll. Um, I will spend one uh, of the weeks. So, roll so can I spend a, two weeks doing it then? Yeah. I'm paying. You need to pay another 50 gold. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Do, I'll do that then, yeah. Okay, so we'll roll a bunch of things. Um, <laughs> please roll uh, two D100 or a D100 four times. I'm rolling my cat's eye dice. You could probably okay. hear them rattling. Uh, I rolled 98. That um, high is good, low is good. 98, okay. The second one? And, yep, second one. 92 <laughs> up in the 90s wow. so the um she brings forth a stone of good luck and a pipes of the sewers stone of good luck. who wants to read these down so we can go by now roll um a couple more times roll three more times your three, d100 three more times yeah? yep uh 48 someone 48 these down, yeah? she also has a spell scroll which i have to figure out what it is um uh, go to uh, roll once more. 21. Um, that is a pain. Get me the uh, pipes. <laughs> <laughs> They're an instrument. A plus, a plus two arrow. True. Plus two arrow. Uh, one eight arrow. C4. Uh, an alchemy jug. <laughs> you, are, yes. you mean a U? No, no. Is that it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. That's for your first week. You have the option to buy those. Jug of like. mayonnaise. Um, can, so. Can I have the pipes? I will that stone of good luck is really, really good. Yeah. I will oh, say. That, yeah, that is very good. Well, obviously, we look at how much these, these cost. The yeah. stone of good luck and the the instruments, I think, are definite. Yeah. Is Melvin okay. interested is in nice. the scroll? I don't know what they do, so... It depends on what the scroll is of, to be honest. Yeah. Whether it's something that's actually useful for him. If you could let me know price, please, Peter. Yes. I'm sure um, we've had a long rest. I will take that long rest. 
finding it again. Um, still have good luck. Uh, she will sell either of them to you for 450, making it 500 for the item. Right, okay. So it's 500 gold for each item, yeah? Yep, because the retainer right. goes I'm, towards I'm the I am item not if proficient in wind instruments, so never mind. Ah. Oh. Yeah. It's a shame. Okay, well, I, I spend. Really sad about that. I spend 500 for the luck stone then, and I do okay. the same for my next week. Okay. Do you want to get the alchemy um, jug? Um, what's the alchemy job do? Uh, it, do it, it can create multiple different types of liquid, I think it is. So it's like mayonnaise, honey, wine, vinegar, or acid, I think is the basic one. Yeah, how much Wha is one of acid, po acid, poison, beer, honey, mayonnaise, oil, vinegar, fresh and salt water, and wine. It's one of those weirdly versatile items. 500 is, again. Yeah. Is, is someone interested in that? Because I'll buy it if they want. I think it's fun. I mean, it's one of those fun items that's yeah. fun to have, who, who but wants isn't it? like... Who's paying for it? <laughs> Mariah? Uh, Do you want it? <laughs> nah. Mariah your is the big drinker in this yeah. party. <laughs> How much gold did I have to spend on that uh, that giant barrel again? Like 50. 50? 50. 50? Okay, so A that's gallon of 10, wine? 10 barrels equals... One alchemy jug. Yeah, you know what? I'll pay for that. <laughs> Mark off five. Hell yeah. Amazing. Cool. Brian, go ahead and roll your second set of items for your second week of downtime, buying magical items. 94. So roll twice. Are you are you kidding me? I'm serious, yeah, 94. Um okay. And, and the second one is eighty-four again. Good so those are on. that's on this this table. Oh, that's G. Peter, I, I direct your attention at some point to the sane magic prices because these are really cheap. You're giving these away for which is your some prerogative. of them are yeah. Um, the alchemy jug is worth six thousand gold pieces to on insane magic. Done deal. Really? Hmm. It's fine. Yeah. I paid already. <laughs> Deal's done. <laughs> yeah, paid already. Some of these going to more. Well. I'm not so worried about Fair any two of those. It's fine. Um, um, let's see. So you said nine. What were the two numbers was again? It, was it nine? I don't, the second one was eighty-four. Was the first one was ninety something. Was it ninety-two or ninety-four? Yeah. Ninety-four and eighty-four. Yeah. Right. That, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Something like that. Okay. You're rolling ridiculously high. Is that good or bad, though? You never know. I think it's good in there Peter's games. There is a, um, in that case, a Helm of Telepathy and a Ring of Mind Shielding that she brings that are going to be extraordinarily expensive. Oh, my God. Oh, Both do I only roll twice rare. this week, then? Because I rolled five times. Three. That's on the, um, but then you can roll roll three more times. Three more times. So, uh, someone write down what those are. 47. Uh, Helm of Telepathy and Mind um, Shield, you said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So she has a... Um, <laughs> for 15,000 gold, you that. could buy a... Or no, sorry. It's a ring. For 15,000 gold, oh. she brings a um, potion of giant strength you could buy. <laughs> Storm giant strength, that is. So. Potion. So that's not going to last very long, is it? No. Uh, the next one is 73... That's funny. It's also a potion. It's a potion of cloud giant strength. It's going to wow. be about twenty five thousand. <laughs> the last one is eighty five. Eighty five. A scroll of. Uh, let's see what this has. David is hanging on your every word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was the scroll from last week? You didn't say. So I'm going to add a luck stone. Yeah. Oh, I might have forgot. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, it's a lot. There's a lot going on. It's fine. I will... I will uh, stone of good luck, that. yeah. Uh, scroll of yeah. protection for um, 5,000. 
Well, that's this week or last week? This this week. That's an option to buy. Wow. Jesus. Well, as delightful as Helm of Telepathy is, <laughs> <laughs> not that I am familiar with that item in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't think we have enough money to pay for all of that really nifty shit. Yeah. Was there any ones that really stood out? I did ask her when we sent her the last time, and I paid 250 gold, I believe, um, with help from other people uh, for a hat of disguise. Hmm. And uh, let's see. Um. She say that that was going to. I I honestly forgot how the deal worked for that one. She was I'll for two hundred fifty gold. She was going to look for one to see if she could find it. Okay, that was how we left it. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, roll a d four. Does she still have any of the other items she found originally? Then. No. no. She sold them elsewhere. A d four. Kraken, are you good to me today? I have rolled a three. A three. Um, she will have one next week. She has found one and it is being brought. Right, how I'll much is it going to cost? Um, a hat of disguise. Um, it is going to cost, um, basically 2,500. All right. That's a very good deal. I will definitely purchase that. And Peter, could you, could you f roll for the previous scroll, the previous weeks? Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to ask the one you found find me in the, um, well. in the Umberly's place. No, the just the first week of buying items for Jade. Oh yes, um, just now. It's I don't have a roller. Um, it is. Let's see. Um, I suppose you could just pick something. That's fine too. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> uh, do. do, do. <laughs> um. Wow. Uh, yeah, I rolled it. It is a scroll of disintegrate. Jesus. <laughs> How much for that one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. It's aggressive. Yeah. I don't know how the the potions. I'm thinking so about expensive. how to make that a book a book cast. You pull out a piece of paper, just rip it up. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand gold. Oh my God. For wow. a sixth level spell, that's actually not terrible. Hmm. Up to you. I think I've actually got enough for that. You should. That be I a do have enough money to fail the Arcana check on that one. No, or that'd be a. I wait until I can write it in my book, kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys discuss these. I'll be right back. Let's yeah. watch your gold disintegrate. <laughs> I mean, that's it's pretty much all my gold. I've got two thousand thirty-one gold right now. So. Uh... What do you guys think? Oh, that's to you. I, it's would you totally have taken, up to you. Would you have taken it when you get to that high level? Will you take that spell anyway, or would you probably? Have, <laughs> so you gain, so you gain a different spell in yeah. place of that. Another mm -hmm. six level spell to choose from. It's yeah. pretty cool. You can make disintegrate, disintegrate your. It's force damage too, so it's it is very few, yeah, very few nice. things resist. Um. You could ask. You could have her. I mean, it's not. You're not like you're gonna be able to pay uh, cast it anytime soon. You could ask her to hold on to it for you, and she'll. Uh, you could buy it when you have a little bit more money. Yeah. Because Diamond Anvil in chat's got a good, good point. Will you ever right? get that price? Yeah. Again? Will you ever get that price again? Exactly right. You've got the money. You might as well buy it. 
Like, over. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Actually, but I don't think. Yeah, spell scroll level six should be closer to to twelve hundred. But oh, Oh. well, maybe maybe there's a persuasion check to be made there. (laughs) Well, Prion's the one doing the bargaining. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. (laughs) What do you mean, unfortunately? (laughs) Wait, no. uh, Nether might be there. Well, she's not like this is Prion's activity, though. No, I know. Like, I know. yeah. So, is this right. a luck stone that you've got or a stone of good luck? Stone, uh, luck stone. Those luck are stone. the same thing, I think. It's the same 4200. 4, Too late. Too late, yep. Some of them, there's a, there's some inconsistency with uh, yeah. the prices. Still pass on that, dis- disintegrate as much as I okay. want it. Okay. By design. Um,. I ask her to find me a magical trident. I what also kind? want a magical trident. But one that destroys worlds. Okay. No, I, I don't know. I don't know why. Let's have a look. What? Uh, let me have a quick look. Maybe trident a weapon of warning. Fish command. Perhaps. <laughs> Those are fun. The, the thing is, I want. I need something that adds a plus to my attack and damage because my strength's not great. Hmm. So you just want a plus one weapon? Um, plus one or plus two, yeah. What's a plus two? That would be a rare. How much would they cost to buy? Expensive as hell. Uh, yeah. And if we're, if we're talking like 5,000, I could put like 3,000 towards it now. Uh, Can I have a side looking... to play away? <laughs> um, we're looking closer to um i don't know how much it is uh i know you mentioned something like five thousand before yeah that was for the plus one weapon i think no a thousand for a plus i one. recall a thousand uh, for a plus one to wait um and f- yeah five thousand for a plus two so and i ask how long that will take Uh, a month and a week. Five weeks. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to be worthwhile me doing that. I'm putting all my money into that. All right. So I ask her to, yeah, find me one. Okay. Did we but, buy the ring of uh, mind shielding? Oh, no. yeah, I forgot about that one. How much was that? That's rare. Um, that's expensive. Mm. <clears throat> that's uncommon. I was just looking at it for my, ca- oh. my crafting originally. I thought it. I thought it was rare. Uh, it popped up as uncommon. Yeah. Well, it's partially based on the price and partially based on what it does. Right. Um, Ring yeah. of Mind Shielding is very high on the um, thing. It is going to be. Uh, well, at least she is going to offer it to you um, for uh, eight thousand. Eight thousand. Okay, I don't think any of us have got eight thousand. Okay, remember you have a ship to repair. You potentially have crew to pay, and yeah. you. We will yeah. um, also talk about potential ship yeah. upgrades as well. Well, how much does, uh, do I need to pay now for her to go and start finding that weapon? Um, she said five, so she wants a thousand right now to do it. I will pay a thousand right now. Okay, great. Yes. Minus what I know what I do want to do during the second week. What is that? I want to go carousing again, but for a very specific purpose. I want to start a band. <laughs> I want to find all the musicians in town. <laughs> Low class. All right. Gotcha. We'll see how many people your band has. Rude. <laughs> As a musician, I'm offended. Ow, the tea is scalding. <laughs> Are you going to uh, intentionally fail your... Uh, fail and have complications just for fun uh that sounds concerning as fuck no <laughs> go ahead and roll a d100 okay oh peter just quickly this is... new sound this it's is a little <laughs> bit ahead of its time but uh, we think you're gonna love it this, this oh, would no. be Wait a, a minute what did a i just tried and here? flavored glaive yeah that's what i'm looking for yeah yeah what what does it mean when there's the zero zero on the tens place <laughs> 
One hundred. Or zero. Or zero, depending on whether or not it was first. Then I rolled a three. <laughs> Lower <laughs> class carousing. Yes. I can't believe that happened. Um, please roll a d8. I'm so scared. Oh, my God. Okay. Excellent. Seven. <laughs> All right. As you guys are getting ready to bed down at one point, um, you don't know exactly what's happening, okay. but you hear some shouting. You hear, uh, you think, you hear Mariah's voice yelling drunkenly from the streets. And it's like, uh, and it sounds like maybe people are chasing her. Something is, something bad is happening. And you all look from, some of you from the ship, some of you from a nearby building. <laughs> to see where you know she's been trying to recruit her band members and sort of look like she's been hitting the bottle a little earlier in the day, sprinting down the street completely <laughs> naked is Mariah, what the fuck? who has decided that streaking through salt marsh seemed like a really good idea, followed by a few oh other naked God. people as well. <clears throat> <laughs> Y'all remember that day? <laughs> I started a streaking race. <laughs> yes. <laughs> streaking bar, that's naked a thing that actually seemed like that, a that... great idea at the time. <laughs> um, sidebar. Um, at my university, it was a uh, tradition at the end of every year for senior streak to happen. So I have actually seen that IRL. Sure. Yep. Um, and then make a uh, make oh my a. God. Another persuasion check, or yeah, make a persuasion check. Sweet lord, what a life I lead. Oh my god, not a good roll though. Uh, I got too drunk. Uh, 11. You found a bassist That's though. Really... Amazing! Hey! You found one single band member. Hot That's shit, all you we need. got a duo. You just need, the, yeah. just need the bass. That's all you need. I only yeah. play naked though. <laughs> We might need to have a conversation about that. <laughs> oh, you see the, the vibrations. I got to feel them through the whole body. No impediments. It's the only oh, way I can get really feel the music. <laughs> oh, my God. We've okay, all just so you know, this is, like, this is like a strictly business thing, okay? <laughs> no, it's, just no, it's, so we're it's all on the about same the page. music, man. Okay. It's all about okay. the music. Amazing. <laughs> I want full bio on this person, Peter. <laughs> it seems yeah, like Sean uh, has we'll a pretty there. good idea who this Maybe guy is. Arden Freewater. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Artie for short. <laughs> so, um, I know I wanted to come back to the Sarayan and Nether conversation, but we are pushing a little bit late. Um... Didn't start Are you guys twenty five after? But okay, what's that? Okay, it's right. Um, it's, it's, it is after ten. We should, late, we should probably, yeah, probably yeah. Yeah, for um, we will let's plan on starting with that um, on the next session. So, all this done, we'll wrap a few things up. Sounds like you're deposing a councilman and uh, you know doing some other fun stuff. So, yeah. um, wedding that bells are in is going the to be air. interesting. <laughs> what? Ding, so Rain's getting married. Ding, dong, ding. Well, okay, morning. but months. Yeah. Wa Water Davian marriages take months to plan. Like, yeah, I mean, we gotta find a venue. We gotta find a caterer. Yeah. Well, you, you <laughs> Money's no object, though. He's gotta go to your father and ask for permission. Yeah, hope it's gonna that take him a while swim. to swim all the way down there. Yeah, there's hope probably that some provision that, that you have to live for a little while in that city, well, he won't be able to breathe. You can give him one of those bubble helmets. Bless this bride. Totally <laughs> just, insane. Just weakened at Bernie's, the, the, the groom the after he drowns. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I need so Sarayan's, I need Sarayan, that's your challenge for, uh, you know, you, I, I need a Sarayan <gasps> version of I'm not getting married today. I'm ready. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Challenge. Yes. <laughs> okay. If you, I, I'm if you making guys don't a note to myself right oh. now. It's a great, great piece. 
Cool. All right. All right. It's let's, in my uh, list of things to do. Yeah. Let's go ahead and call it there, and we'll pick up with things and the down the uh, um, tiny more down.